I have my community that sees it all the time and it adds to their mental health issues. And I, you know, I, I don't usually share this trigger warning for self-harm. I had a community member take their own life about last year when they were in their middle of their transition because their family rejected them. Okay, I have no idea if it was because of something that happened on my platform. You're trauma dumping a dead trans person in on this conversation going, I don't know if it had anything to do with my platform or the hate raids. You're a piece of sh You're an awful person. Ethan Klein tactics activated. Here comes the suicide defense. Like, I'm gonna get people that are gonna hate raid me probably during Okay, this so the definition of hate raid is people who say things I don't like. This is the first problem, and we're going to repeat ourselves a lot this stream. People disagreeing with you online is not a hate raid. If you say something fucking stupid, and people come tell you it's fucking stupid, that's not what a hate raid is. You're an idiot. You made a dumb fuck point, and people came and told you that you made a dumb fuck point. That's totally fucking normal in literally every other community online. Here, if people tell you that you're a fucking idiot, now it's a fucking hate raid. You got, like, two accounts show up and they're like, lol, this person's dumb. And now I've been fucking hate raided. And you'll see it throughout this panel. I'm probably going to get messages that are going to be very transphobic and awful. This is going to happen. And What's and the difference between a, a person getting a transphobic message sent to their DMs and somebody fucking emailing me telling me to kill myself? which is just something that happens online. Is there any online creator that hasn't gotten some sort of completely illegitimate death threat from some unhinged keyboard warrior online? Like, I'm just wondering, what makes her experience so vastly different than my own? Why do I have to give significantly more care to, to that than I would if I, if I got my own death threat? I'm just wondering. I, I don't know what the difference is. Can somebody explain that to me? And it is, it is something that I'm going to have to deal with because every time even when I spoke up for a friend that he brigaded and admitted to brigading. He brigaded and admitted to brigading. Let's see if this is followed up on. It, 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 I was the one that was also dragged for speaking up. This particular topic is exactly why it is hard to speak up because his community is so large and the influence is so- He has so many fans. It's such a problem. So many people agree with him. We have to silence that immediately. You're gonna find out that getting rid of this guy is a net loss for everybody here, but we'll get there. Circle is so massive that if you speak up, you're going to get completely brigaded for it. And if you it, speak it is up, an you're gonna get brigaded. Truth. No, you're fucking wrong. Someone needs to tell you. I, I don't know what, what what fucking stupid ass parents you had growing up, but somebody needs to tell you that sometimes you're fucking wrong. Sometimes you make mistakes. You're not. Nobody's fucking perfect. If someone disagrees with me, it's a hate raid. Shut the fuck up. And and, and it, it 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 is. It, By the way, this is the same fucking community who got hate raided by Ian Miles Chung, like legitimately fucking hate raided, and then made tweets saying like, oh my god, soy, 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 we fucking ratioed them, boys, we did it, it's such a safe space now, oh, soy, 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 we ratioed Ian Miles Chung on Twitter, look, I hate Ian Miles Chung, and I don't support hate raids, but if you're like jerking off and getting super excited because you literally ratioed a guy on Twitter, and that's not like a, hey man, we ratioed you, that's awesome, that's like, you made the world a better place. You're fucking deranged and a lunatic and nobody should ever take you seriously ever again. It's literally insane. Tap, you are you are simping for him right now. I want to and jump in because I want to sympathize with you a little bit, right? Because By the way, I thought Twitch banned simping, but when it said about destiny, it's full fucking speed ahead. This is the person saying Twitch said like, someone violated our rules. Meanwhile, she called somebody a simp on the fucking panel. Isn't that funny? Specifically simping a creator. That's totally a violation, isn't it? Because I understand. I've been on the internet and like when I was 16 people on politically correct on 4chan were posting pictures of me like you know ripping me apart saying the most transphobic shit about me okay because I know I've been on the internet I know how transphobic it is and that's but I think Toff Todd who's talking right now is a trans person <laughs> There are multiple trans people on this platform. She seems to like Destiny. It's shocking, right? That people can have different opinions on this. It's not like the united trans front against Destiny. It's, that doesn't exist. I think what we need to understand is that's what it's like, right? When you interact with any controversial community. I think it's unfair to pin Destiny as this like 
transphobic monster or his community is this transphobic, you know, monstrous place when destiny has gone above and beyond to ban transphobic people so, when they're, you know, saying transphobic things off but, platform. But he's the they're transphobe. proven to be. He's the transphobe. I, I, he's the transphobe. Attach the T word. Now we have power. We can attach the T word to his name and suddenly all of a sudden Visa MasterCard don't want to work with him anymore. He's the fucking transphobe, bro. Because he doesn't think they should be in fucking sports with biological females. What a transphobe, man. A, a, a take that fucking I, I, at least 70% of fucking people agree with. Like, such a fucking lukewarm take. Jesus Christ. Is it a bannable... I'll test it right now. Is it a bannable offense to say... And I'm not pretending I'm as fucking read up as any of these people are. That, like, bone density and stuff has, like, some sort of value when we're talking about athletics. That, like, biological males who transition into females like a year before competing at like a large sporting event would have some sort of advantage over biological females. Is that not like, is that a fucking bannable thing to say on Twitch now? Somebody who uh, who who appears in, as visibly trans and then go in and then have his entire mob of people. Apparently, Destiny organizes fucking mob hits on trans people. That's basically what it sounds like. That like Destiny's coordinating discords filled with transphobes and Nazis. Like he's taken the whole cozy team TV user base, and he's just swinging them at every trans person who tweets at him. I mean, that's what I'm gathering. And make that person eventually delete their account or go private. This has happened time. He just forces them private. The goal is to make sure they can't speak. That's the goal. Yeah. Talking time. about him quote tweeting someone? No, like, I'm talking internet. about him. If you quote... tweet at someone, you're going to get okay, quote tweeted. That's, that's, that's like the internet point. discourse. You're trying to, but no, no, no. You're changing the topic. I said that action is transphobic, and he is doing Wait, that. Wait, the action? of disagreeing with fucking trans people is transphobic. It's not even about the sports thing. I'm so fucking retarded. The action of quote tweeting trans people is fucking transphobic now, guys. Guys, if you critique trans people in any way, you might as well just fucking make a 42% joke or something. Is that the... I don't, I'm not transphobic to know, enough to know if that's the fucking value or something. But if you disagree with one, you might as well have made a fucking, like, a numbers joke. In engaging with trans people is transphobic? No, he's engaging with people trying to say oh look at this person like oh, oh you did like like the the one that i have on my phone about how he posted somebody and and then he was like oh yeah good luck a parent completely going after that person's looks and then making that person and making that person look like like go go private because he brigades people because of their looks okay <laughs> She doesn't even know what she's saying. She's like, go, go, uh, brigade people because, of uh, they go private because, like, looks and stuff. Please don't ask me to explain what brigading is. Please, oh, please don't ask me. I, I don't even know, like, did this person just have a stroke mid-fucking sentence? What is going on? Hey, if that's not transphobic because you're just picking out a visibly trans- Dude, it's just like, blah, 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 blah. If that's not transphobic, then, uh, I, you should be banned from Twitch, too. <laughs> How he posted somebody and and then he was like, oh yeah, good luck. Parent completely going after that person's looks. Thanks for the rain, And then sir. making that person and making Dude, that- Dude, if going after looks was transphobic, all you motherfuckers who post that fat picture of me from fucking VidCon should be banned. All of you should be fucking IP wiped from the site, dude. You guys are the most transphobic pieces of shit that I've ever seen. Look like, like go, go private because he brigades people because of their looks, okay? If that's not transphobic because you're just picking out a visibly trans trans person and retweeting them. Oh, I'm going to ban all the people who are transphobic when the first tweet is transphobic. I don't think retweeting bullshit. someone. She's I just saying the word transphobic. Like we don't have an example yet. We don't have a functioning fucking example to even build off of. It's just like when you transphobic and you do a transphobic, transphobic stuff happens and people are transphobes. And if we do some more transphobia, then more transphobic stuff's going to happen. And then there's a lot of transphobia. Have you considered transphobia? It's a good one. Thank you very much for that, Josie. You're really contributing to this discourse. I don't think insulting someone who's trans is necessarily transphobic, right? On I their think looks, like, it is. No, not on necessarily. Their looks, it is. Not necessarily. Then, then, it depends on how you do it. Because if you're if you're telling them, if you're like, you know, you're totally unpassing, you're a man, you'll always- When Lauren Southern says you'll never be a woman, that's fucking transphobic. That's a transphobic comment, okay? 
That's what a transphobic comment is. Calling somebody ugly off the off no relevance to their actual gender. Not even calling them, sending them a, like a picture of themselves or something could mean anything from terminally online to your fat. Because I mean, I get the fat one a lot, and people aren't being transphobic to me. All right, there's a clear line of what is transphobic and what isn't. That's transphobia. I'll agree with you, right? But if you're just like cis men, cis women, trans men, trans women, or just men and women, because they are just men and women at the end of the day, can be ugly. It's fucking true. If trans women are women, let them be ugly like everybody else. If trans men are, are, are men, let them be ugly men, okay? It's fucking based, okay? To let everybody, well, there's nothing wrong with being an ugly person. Nothing at all, okay? Unless you're mean to me on Twitter. And you don't know anything about them, right? And you're in this bantery roast kind of culture, which is like Twitter and most of like early online political discourse. What do you have to go after except for like their profile? Which you might not even know they're trans. And, and do, don't these people start with destiny half the time? It's not like he goes out looking for people to harass Josie. I mean, it, these Dude, people- Destiny wakes up in the morning, puts on his pants and goes, all right, motherfuckers, which trans person are we bullying today? Where the fuck are they? He, he pulls up his trusty Discord log of his doxing server with Ethan Ralph and goes, Hmm, who's today's victim? Who's gonna private their Twitter? Who's gonna deactivate and touch grass? Yeah, that's how, that's how Destiny wakes up in the morning. He gets a, a G Fuel in one hand and then just a list of trans people to bully in the other hand. Like, that's how it goes. Surely that's how it goes. People uh, react to him. You think, are you telling me that Destiny goes out of his way to find people to harass and then tells his community to brigade them? Fuck I mean, him you up. can't control every person in his community. It's literally thousands of people. So I've been a member of his community for years. I've never seen him say, let's go brigade this person. I'm a friend of his. I've never seen him say anything like this. Okay, so explain this tweet then if you riddle me this batman <laughs> what <laughs> i don't know why it's <laughs> people so i've been a member of his community for years i've never seen him say let's go brigade this person i'm a friend of his i've never seen him say anything like this okay so explain this tweet then if you are engaged in sexual activity from someone and you're surprised by a set of genitals you are engaging in sexual activity with someone that uh, that didn't give informed consent which is rape which trans person is he bullying in that one Informed consent, is that someone's name? Or is Tenamount someone's name? Or is Rape somebody's name? Which specific trans person is being bullied in that meme? Talking about people telling somebody that their genitals are when they when they when they're just there. Okay. Like, that's like, a, that's you, not rape. That's a general wait, 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 wait. I fucking will die on this hill till the end of time. There are places in the world you can't do this. I wanna say that straight away. But if you're living in like fucking New York or California or fucking Texas, or any like normal fucking area, and you're telling people specifically don't disclose that you're trans before you meet somebody and get to the point where you're literally having sex with them and pulling out like your genitalia, you're setting people up to get hurt. That is what you're doing. You're 100% doing that. Because not everybody is fucking pro progressive. Not everybody's gonna have a calm reaction when they're expecting to have sex with someone with a fucking vagina or a penis and they get the alternative. Not everyone's gonna be okay with that. Not at all. Especially when there's no bottom surgery done. I think that's when it's most important. But, like, the fact still remains that if you're going to argue that people shouldn't, like... It ties into that other drama where you're like, hey, you shouldn't fucking leave an open drink or something like that. And people were getting mad about how um, that was, like, being a, a rape apologist because you're blaming somebody for fucking being roofied or some dumb shit. That, that was another piece of the same discourse that was cut from the same cloth. Uh, it, it's just good. Like, every single person who is telling their kids, like, what like, the dude and don'ts of going to like a college frat party is gonna say hey you probably should you know keep an eye on your drink make sure nobody puts anything in it that's not rape apology if something bad happens to you that's just like tip number one of functioning in a fucked up world okay nobody's saying that somebody who gets their drink spiked because they weren't paying attention deserved it nobody at all is saying that in any in any such capacity like nobody is saying that if a trans person gets fucking like beaten that that's fucking deserved that's fucked up you shouldn't fucking beat up fucking trans people that's awful okay but you're putting yourself in a position by not disclosing something that somebody like there could be fucking crazy people out there if you're having like these sexual encounters with people you just met obviously it's different if it's a partner Obviously, it's different if it's a different portion, like different part of the world. But yeah, you probably should disclose for your own safety. And, and I, I again, like I'm saying specifically, like 
in your specific location. Because if you live where Tobes lives, just being gay is a fucking crime there. I wouldn't expect anyone to disclose. But like, I don't know, dude. I go on Tinder, lots of fucking trans people. Based. There's tons of them. They all say they're fucking trans. Maybe some people don't, but it's a good habit to let people know something like that about you before you get into it. I think it would be even worse if you're in a country that isn't progressive. Sure, okay, but at that point, your fucking hands are tied, right? If you put yourself out there and you tell everybody that you're fucking trans, you're at like risk of somebody outing you, right? Like if you tell somebody you're fucking gay in some of these countries, I don't want to name them specifically, your fucking like coworkers will rat you out and try to get you fucking killed. Okay, so if you tell people you're trans, you're fucked anyway. Um, my best guess for trans people who are disclosing and not disclosing is to get the fuck out of these third world countries and move somewhere where they have progressive laws. Not, not progressive laws, but progressive, like, social politics. Because Jesus fucking Christ. If you're trying to be a trans person, first of all, getting that surgery done is probably a bitch. So I would assume that most trans people in these countries don't have bottom surgery. So most people are trying to pass. I mean, at that point, do you even have access to medication to, to help you pass? Yeah, I don't know, dude. I wouldn't even fucking risk it in those countries. I'd get the fuck out of there or hide it i mean I, that sounds fucked up and like obviously i'm not saying that you should fucking closet yourself but if you're in a hostile environment you're in a lot of danger that's that's all i'm saying i i just don't see how that's like harassing that's somebody not it's, it's like it's he's not. just waiting he's up he's weighing in his opinion when you get on twitter destiny's bullying the whole trans community by giving a take that fucking josie doesn't like and i think you're allowed to disagree with that i think that for a lot of people 10 amount to rape is where that breaks i think if destiny made the uh, the same claim on stream it would have sounded like you should probably you know just tell people what you have realistically that should be something that's not like that shouldn't be an expectation that should be an understanding that you know who you're like talking to going in right that's part of being on twitter also i mean but it doesn't even sound like he's he's going after somebody i'd have to see the whole thread he i'm not trying to give you a hard the entirety of the community right he's going after the integrity of what we're trying to build here like get the fuck out of here dude right. what like you mean? One, what, what do another you mean? one is you can't say there's that. a reason i just started blocking all trans people on twitter trying to get okay. away from that it seems like if he just continued blocking all trans people on twitter he wouldn't be banned from twitch right now i'm gonna be honest I'm gonna be I said this on Stardust stream, okay? Trans people are fucking based. I'm gonna open with that. But my problem here is, in most of society, trans people are, like, ostracized. Uh, IRL getting jobs and stuff like that. They're on the, the bottom foot. They, they need some help. On Twitter, these people are fucking apex predators, all right? They have fucking, like, organizational backing. They have these, these fucking, these big tech companies, are they're backing them. These people sit all day on Discord and plan out the next op of who they're gonna fucking flag off. I genuinely believe this, dude. I'm telling you right now, on Twitter, it's not like a representation thing. They have fucking, like, legitimate power, okay? For people who are so ostracized from every other walk of life, wrongfully, by the way, they're fucking powerful on Twitter, bro. These social media sites are no joke. I don't even think it's worth engaging with them. So, but here's here's the thing. Like, if dude, you're... imagine if conservatives, well, even like, actually, like, dude, take the alt-right, okay? Imagine if the alt-right was as bad as people said. Imagine if the alt-right had the ability to fucking wipe out leftist Twitter accounts just by brigading them like that. Imagine they'd almost be like, a legitimate threat on Twitch. <laughs> Instead of, you know, banned. <laughs> you're, I mean, if you're taking someone home and you're surprised by their set of genitals and they were not, and they were not told to you, like, I, I, I'm confused as to why you think this would be a correct way to go about it. Um, because I know you, Josie. To I call know it rape? To oh, call I'm, it I'm not, rape. Yeah, I guess I guess when you look at the the comment that you're saying to both of you is it is easy to say when the conversation isn't about you 20 times all the time, right? Like the, the conversation isn't about you. It's also not about you. It's about a, like the group of people. It's a it's a general statement. So it's not about you as an individual. He's not bullying you as an individual. Destiny can't hate raid the entire trans community by giving a take they don't like. That's not how hate raiding works. The idea of like where you're like, oh, it's starting discourse, but it's on the backs of people that are literally suffering. It's like, is that They're really suffering, worth it? Oh, guys. it's suffering, We can't discourse. talk about them. You know, They're suffering. It's, you know, what it's, it's you what it is. About? But yet the people who have to hear it over and over and over. And I sent the link to everybody in this chat where he laughed and said something about a trans person killing themselves and says, maybe we should start embracing the 41%. Can't cover the fact that in 30 years, this person will kill themselves. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Obama. 
It's tempting to embrace the 41 jokes, but I'm trying to stay. I don't even know why at this point I'm trying to stay above board. You're the reason. Wait, I when, the f when the fuck did he say that? What are you talking about? I, look, look, do you think I watched Destiny? Or do Maybe you we should embrace the 41%. I think I know what clip she's talking about. He's not talking about embracing the 41% as like telling trans people to fucking kill themselves. I think that I'm d dealing with the people that are triggered by his comments that are plastered Love all over off. Twitter. Okay. Like, he said embracing the fucking meme and laughing at it. What's okay, so problem? see, you see that? That is that is the win, right? The win is for me to get, get off off the internet so people like me aren't giving my opinions anymore yes, just yes. log it's so off. bad that it's causing you know, actually i think a win for you would probably be to get off the internet at least nightly it doesn't seem like you can handle it very well if you think that every single person who disagrees with you in an online setting is hate rating you odds are probably you should touch some grass but i don't think that's a win i, I think that your perspective is valuable just not to me you know, like serious psychological no. issues don't engage with well, it you're not enforced but, to engage with twitch wow. discords that's yeah, exactly that, wait, what wait, they wait, want. Wait, 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 wait. Like, like, so the idea that now it's the responsibility for all trans people to just log off the internet if you don't want to no, see- No, it's not a trans person thing. Stop making it a trans person thing. Sometimes I fucking spurg out and I need to take a day off, bro. Everybody needs to take a day off once in a while. If your whole fucking life is online and you obviously can't handle the discourse that's going on, maybe just don't engage with it. If the topic like of fucking stealthing or something triggers you so much then probably just don't react with that one i don't know maybe it's just i i don't know if i'm speaking crazy talk right now you don't have to debate every single topic you've ever seen something transphobic don't watch destiny well let, let okay it, let it based oh god taftaj is so fucking based in this combo holy shit reading my mind in real time i do i don't watch destiny i i go and on twitter and I see my friends who I interact with posting something that Destiny said, and that is what I have to interact with. It's the same thing with Jake. Mute his account, please. For the love of God, just mute his account. We don't need to lose him on Twitter too. Again, we don't need to lose him on Twitter too. Again. <laughs> J.K. Rowling. Do you think I follow J.K. Rowling? Do you think I go in and look at J.K. Rowling? Absolutely not. But every time she tweets, I feel it. It's the same. Then you need to log off. If every time J.K. Rowling tweets, you fucking feel it. Like physically, you're feeling something. That is your fucking issue that you need to solve. That is unhealthy. That is ridiculously unhealthy. What are you talking about? Same thing that happens when Destiny says some bullshit. He Listen. goes in there and he does that, and then his little network goes and just makes an entire ripple effect across the internet, causing severe damage to a community that is literally under attack with 184 bills across this country coming after us in a very specifically targeted way. And when the man like that goes up there and says, Oh, maybe is we should Destiny start responsible the for the trans pills? What? No, like you can you don't 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 on Twitter. Twitter. If don't your friends are like constantly sending you Destiny, reminds me of when Mr. Girl went on. Oh no, wait, hold on. I just made a fucking. My brain just saw that girl and read Mr. Girl, and I thought Mr. Girl went on Chris Hansen. You just fucking like tripped me the fuck out. That's gonna be an arc now, cause you just said it. You've just willed this into existence. We're gonna get Mr. Girl on fucking Chris Hansen, and that's going to be the worst thing ever. And I'm going to blame you, Ginger. It is your fault that Mr. Girl will now go on the Chris Hansen show. He will take a seat with Chris Hansen and stump him. Could you imagine the discourse? All right, keep it going. Like your tweets office, or baby. pictures. Like ask your friends not to do that or ban, mute the word destiny on your Twitter. Oh, like, that's so bad. You can another you can base take responsibility play, so, so, so blaming the victim. Yeah. So blaming yeah, the victim. Yeah, because you're it's entirely self-inflicted. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. So blame the victim. Yeah, when when he makes a joke about maybe we should embrace the forty one percent joke, he that, didn't that, say that's that. A, yeah, he did. I put it in the tweet. Take he a look. He said he's trying to be above board and not no, embrace go it. No, go look at the look at the thing. I literally put it in the chat. Go and look at it. Don't try to be I've willfully the ignorant I've on the, the bullshit. Clip. Well, he said maybe we should start embracing the forty one percent then. Uh, yes, he did or, say that. Don't he said it's hard that he did not it. to. Right? Oh my God! Josie. Oh my God! You understand what the but implications? Then he doesn't I, I I'm gonna say it right now because I know that Vivian, 
uh, Vivian X Wolf, uh, village fucking idiot of Twitch politics, dumbest fucking person alive in the entire fucking platform. Hi, I'm Nick. Uh, I didn't get the destiny boost, so I could just be a dick, and then uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Vivian is the dumbest fucking person in Twitch politics, and she was sitting here going like, oh, eat it up, eat it up, he's finally banned. And that's what jo uh, Josie is basically saying, is like, this is better for everybody. Life will be easier, the platform will be safer. You are so fucking dumb. It's unimaginable. You don't even understand the hell that you just opened for yourself. Do you know what happens now? Destiny went on YouTube tonight and he streamed to 11,000 people, chat. 11,000 people were watching Destiny. And think about what that means for these people. If he wanted to, Destiny could do a 24-7 response stream to uh, Josie. And what is she going to do about it? At Twitch support? Nobody's going to hear that. Uh-oh. Or, or, oh, well, Mark Nick, there's YouTube TOS. You can't do that. What if Destiny opens up a cozy account. Do you know that YouTube rarely bans for off-platform behavior? If he wants to, Destiny could fire up a cozy stream and react to your stream every single time you go live, every single day of the week. And oh, now that we're talking about cozy, let's go back to you, Vivian. Vivian misses, oh, we need to purge all the right wingers. We can't have this misspeak. CTV is bad. Misses, oh God, Destiny is enabling these alt writers by platforming them in debates. Vivian, Vivian, you just pushed him potentially to a platform filled with those people. And guess what? If 11,000 people still watch Destiny on YouTube, I'm sure as hell that there's going to be at least 2,000 people if he streams just on Cozy. I'm pretty also sure that he's going to stream it and get a bunch of people watching people you would deem as fucking Nazis. If you think that this is going to stop Twitch politics and er erase Destiny's, like, hand from touching it, you're fucking wrong and stupid. Because the minute those Nazis start debating fucking destiny. Do you know what's gonna happen? This the, the kids have to eat. The runoffs are gonna happen. You're gonna start seeing Vosh platform these people, probably, maybe not as much. But you're gonna be seeing Chad Logic talk to these people. You're gonna be seeing Gappy talk to these people. Oh, Jesus, you've been trying to get rid of the right-leaning presence on here for some time through your Discord servers and your docs chats. But Vivian, this is bad for you. Can't you figure that out? Is the noggin joggin' yet? This is not Wville. This is not like, oh, we're here, we got this fucking win, Destiny is down. You've unleashed a brand new hell that you people have been complaining about. Almost like, unnecessarily. Oh, we gotta get rid of all these right-leaning people. Where? You got them all banned. Well, guess what? Now you got the debate guy banned, so he can go talk to them. Get fucked. I need you to hear what these people say, because now that I've given you that context, it sounds so much more delusional when they're like, I'm in my safe space! Bitch, no the fuck you aren't. It got worse for you. You're just too stupid to figure that out. People think like, oh, well, Destiny's out of here. We're going to make this more legitimate now. It's going to be a more legitimate space. Dude, you don't want this to be a more legitimate space because you're going to get blown the fuck out, okay? I don't know anything about politics, and I probably could take at least one or two of these people. Alright? That's how stupid this community is. The only people who know anything that's fucking going on are people like Dylan. I'm, I'm okay. Like nobody else has. The video specifically that I watched from Destiny had the tran that person on there, and I learned an incredible deal about it. So, yes, some of the stuff and, he's saying yeah. is bad, but there's also the other side of the coin. Right. I mean, didn't he bring you on quite early on when you were running when for I, office? When I, was, when I was running for office, I did. This yeah. person was running for office where? In crazy town? Holy shit. I'm sorry, is that too nuclear? Who the fuck? Where? Oh, God. That's okay. Sure. Yeah, he did. Wasn't that good? And then good? he immediately right? called me, and then he called me subhuman after I just criticized lightly on what was going on. He's called a. Every, so, so, he, he Destiny's called, called fucking everybody subhuman. I'm sure if he called you subhuman, it's not because you're trans, it's because you're an idiot. Well, it's everybody subhuman. Look. He's probably called me subhuman at one point. Dude, when they take away half the insults and they get banned from Twitch, it's either retard or subhuman. Take your pick. I, all, um, all, he's definitely subhuman. I can guarantee all, that one. Yeah. All I am saying is that the, what he has done by brigading. 
especially trans femmes and like look he's 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 gone trans femmes now now trans men have been exiled from this conversation now it's just trans woman here we go and he said specifically that if you are a um if you are not he him she her they them then you're not trans he has specifically said no because wait so now he's transphobic because he doesn't like fucking xenogenders chat put a put a one in the chat if you're a big advocate of xenogenders okay let me see these ones let me see these big ones raining in from all the xenogender stands in the chat yeah neo pronouns all right we got a three we got a two we got okay acme you're getting a one second ban none of that shit any 41% memes is fucking... You're, you're, stop it. Don't do that. Um, Alright, we have we have a one... We have two ones so far, okay? There are two ones who are here with the, the Xenogender um, fucking meme, alright? We're, we're gonna move on. You're all transphobes, by the way. You just outed yourselves. I can't believe I have such a fucking degenerate community. You're not, you're not Zeno gender stands. Those words. He has uh, recently in the trans debate completely started using transphobic talking points to try to prove that trans women don't belong in sports. Like there are- Dude, try to prove that trans women don't belong in sports. Do you not realize that this is a fucking, like, first of all, no one's saying trans women don't belong in sports. They're saying that they should be placed in the correct positions. Now, my doomer commentary brain-pilled fucking moron state, who has no idea about anything with politics, uh, and has watched one Joe Rogan stream, keep in mind, I know everyone's groaning right now if anyone's watching this VOD, um, my understanding is that things like bone structure play an important role. Now, obviously, not everything is a sport, like, in the, of the same level. Like, MMA is very different than fucking table tennis. I, I agree with you. Um... But, like, I think for a majority of situations where a person is, tr like, uh, transitioning one year out of being, like, I don't know, if a trans woman had transitioned one year out of competing at a professional level, there's obviously some sort of advantage there. I, I, you're not going to be able to convince me otherwise unless you have something, like, serious that I can look at. Um, I, I honestly, like, I, I really would like someone to try to change my mind on that tech. Are you talking about Aiden? Is is Aiden a trans woman in the in the Olympics? No, Brandon. I'm not, I'm not talking about Aiden. I don't know. I can't help being transphobic. I read Harry Potter as a kid. So fucking based, clock. You're a based Harry. You're you're a based um uh a based hat pilled Gryffindor transphobe. Way to go so many examples of how he yeah trans women won the world poker championship i'm outraged well wait is there a woman's division of poker because i don't even think that's like i don't know I, again i'm not trying to ape the destiny take here but saying that fucking uh women's sports don't matter and that we should just fucking mix them all together anyway and just dissolve women's sports is like so fucking stupid to anyone outside of the terminally online Twitter space. Like, anybody in real life, if you walk up and say, like, should we just dissolve women's sports, would tell you you're out of your fucking mind. It only exists on terminally online Discord spaces and Twitter. He's done it. And laughing at the 41% joke was appalling to have. I cannot believe What is there except for that... he, she, Yeah, well, you know what? Laughing about his ban was the same fucking shit, and I don't care. You can't convince me otherwise. Laughing about a fucking, laughing about a man's fucking income being fucking taken. I'm not trying to sit here and fucking grandstand, but like, I don't know. You're not the hero to the story that you think you are. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, what? It, like, it, it's, 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 it's like dear. neo pronouns, fear, fey, fair. Like, like, there is so many. Yeah, yeah I'm like sorry. I'm not calling you fey, fair, and mom more. Take my fucking check mark away now. It's not happening. Like, there's Garbage also other ways. Bullshit. Unless I'm on a Dylan Burns panel where those are the rules, and while I'm on the Dylan Burns panel, fuck yeah, bro. Neo pronouns are based. But then when I'm off of it again, I'm not going to use them. All right? But I'm not... I'm, all right. Maybe on a Dylan Burns panel, I'll, I'll acknowledge, like, fucking animals, too. But I'm probably not doing that. That is so, not garbage wait, bullshit. Right, that is real right, life. That's right, people's identity. That's real life. <laughs> they fair. Uh, it's just a, the example of a neo pronoun. She said, not they them, but like they them is fine. I have no problem with they them. He she, uh, you know, all that stuff. But 
Wait, he, she. He, him, she, her. Okay, we're good. They, them, he, him, she, her. Okay. Just clarifying that because it sounded really bad for a second. But we fixed it. We're good, boys. Um, fucking, yeah, I don't know. I don't do the Neo pronoun meme. Are fucking what, Nick? All right, fuck you, all right? I, I fixed it. Fuck you. I, I misspoke. BTW listened to Not So Erudite in her fanatic panels. All right, I have a problem with that. That What you just said to me is offensive, all right? I will not watch a fucking fanatic panel because that guy sucks too, all right? I don't have to pretend to be fucking nice to any of these people. I don't like fanatic. I think that guy's the worst fucking moderator I've ever seen. It should be illegal for him to host a panel. How do you fuck up having Dr. K, not like the Dr. K topic with Chud Logic, Destiny, and Anna? Jesus Christ. You know who should be fucking banned? That guy. Okay, for hosting shitty fucking panels. That guy is so delusional. Oh, can't we all just get along? Bitch, you're hosting a panel. Let them fucking disagree. Please. Please. Holy shit. Ban that guy from fucking streaming. Um, there we go. All right, well, all right, let me read the rest of your comments. Sorry. Listen to Not So Erudite on her uh, fanatic panel. She's the woman behind Loner Box in the middle right. She used some sciencey words to explain some nucleic or something like that and so the medicine might lower bone and muscles but it doesn't take away biological body fat leanness so listen to that panel she was really informative all right maybe i'll watch one fanatic panel but probably not all right um <laughs> and I'm, I, it was a joke by the way chat i'm not fucking advocating for fanatics ban but I should be, because he's such a bad host. It should be fucking illegal. I'm not even banned. Yo, fuck it, dude. I don't want him to be banned. He should be fucking, like, I don't know. I, what should we do with Fnatic chat? Uh, actually, I don't want to ask you guys. You guys might be, like, really fucking racist or something. Don't do that. Um, What should we fucking do with Fnatic? All right. We should... We should take... You, you ever watch... Um, what's that movie? I don't know that movie. Black Mirror, where they're like their social credit goes so low that they get ostracized. We should fucking lower Fnatic's social credit. How's that? Um, put them on a no-fly list. Yeah, Nick Fuentes and fucking Fnatic should be on a no-fly list. Those two people exclusively, all right? And seize his fucking... Sees his fucking, I don't know, dude, socks. He shouldn't have socks. We should take his socks back, okay? Because he's so fucking terrible. Yeah. You talk about people making up. I talk about. I'm no, sorry. I'm talking about neo pronouns too. Pro, yes, neo pronouns. People making up their pronouns. Um, they're they are certain fair, all of the type of things. Look, look. All I'm trying to say is like this whole thing about like trying to invalidate people's transness is bullshit. And that's what he's doing. transness I don't, is being. Where did he try to invalidate people's transness? What? Dear, I. I don't know. We're if not. Stuck, no. Like, no. Okay. Okay. To be clear, we're not going to get into. See, neo this is this is pronouns. what it's about. This is Yo, Dylan's smart, bro. He does not want it to turn into a neo pronoun debate. I fucking respect it. Because no, not everybody here is equipped to have a conversation, and I know nothing about it, so I have no clue if the conversation. Is so fucking base, Dylan. Base moderator. Going any way responsibly or not, so we're just gonna. We are gonna have to just swerve out of that direction. I'm just gonna say that you straight sure, up. Dylan? I am an expert. I am a certified expert in neo pronouns, so it's up to there, you, though. There you go. I appreciate it. Sorry. Fact uh, check. I Let's go. To, I do want to throw it to not so erudite because not so erudite has said nothing yet, and um, uh, you raised your hand. On the list we have counterpoints, loner, sprout. Does anybody need to be added? Kirk again? Okay. What's our idea? Yeah, so I didn't. I, I've been hesitant to jump in. I've heard her talk before. I don't know where, but she's good. Because I think like the reality of the like 1.5 versus 6.5 is is really real, um, and I want to be like really careful of adding to that. Um, if you guys are maybe open, I, I'm really interested in kind of more of the meta question in this conversation, which is like, to what extent is proc provocateur behavior? beneficial for certain political discourses and by the way that's a big criticism of destiny that i get like destiny's whole system seems to be like uh make the outrageous tweet bait people on stream have the debate and then when you have it uh either you're gonna be much more like oh hold on that's not my stance this is my stance and then give like the neutral like the uh, i don't know like the less nuclear version of the take and then meanwhile that person who was calling you like a sh i don't know a bunch of tos terms on twitter 
uh, is going to come on and try to be your friend because that's usually how it goes. And I think that's a good business strategy for content and edginess, but I could also understand why a sizable uh, amount of people have an issue with that. So, like, if you're constantly making your nuclear take and people aren't watching your stream, they only know you for your nuclear take. And if you only have nuclear takes, you sound like a fucking crazy person. So I'm sure there's a lot of people who think Destiny's a fucking crazy person. Um, she was the one who called Shud racist for the Eye of... Ar Are you fucking kidding me? She called Shud racist for the Dosha memes? Alright, this person's totally out. I don't like them anymore. Uh, I'm just over women not being allowed to be women or proud of it without being transphobic. We can't even say that we're able to bear children and have to be called uh, birthing people. It's ridiculous. I don't know anyone who's actually used the term birthing people, but that's a fair take. Um, if, if that actually happens, that's insane. Uh, she didn't call him racist. She's saying it could be seen as racist. I mean, like, anything... I, I don't know. A lot of stuff Chud does could be seen as racist, but he's obviously fucking not. I think he did the impression of his Chinese friend, uh, or was it Vietnamese? I forgot. I didn't see the actual impression. I just heard about it. Um, but they apologized right after. It was a misunderstanding. Okay, they, then guys, why are you fucking drama baiting in chat? You're like, yeah, she fucking said that like he was racist, and then everyone's just like, wait a minute, well that's not exactly what happened, and they're like, oh well, actually, good now. Jesus Christ, guys, calm. Let's get cool, calm, and collected. All right, we're uh. We're just casual gamers, all right? We're not having any, no, no crazy stuff going on here. How can we use it to benefit certain groups? And to what extent does it maybe sometimes harm the exact group that maybe it be, might be aimed at helping or, or vice versa? Because I, I think like a lot of this is like pretty extreme provocateur behavior that we're taking issue with. And so I'd be curious about like, to what extent, like where do we draw the line on these things? So let me answer that question for you, Eurydite. Um, I don't draw the line. I think everyone should be allowed on Twitch. I think everyone should be allowed to have their voice heard. Um, I think that if you are going to be in a... Platforms are so shitty, man. It's so shitty. It's literally like... It, you're, you're stuck between like a rock and a fucking deranged place. It's like, I want to be on Twitch, but my views are this. And it's like, most people who... I would say that the vast majority... Maybe not the... I don't know. Maybe the vast majority are crazy, but there's a sizable amount of people that come through who get banned for, like, pretty niche shit. And then their only option is to go to, like, Cozy TV or Odyssey, where no, like, rational person uses as their daily driver. Like, it's all just the fucking, like, the sludge of the earth fucking unhinged people who go to those sites and, like, and frequent them. And it's like, you're either in the in the normie group where you can't say fucking anything, or you live in, like, the shithole slums of fucking internet and hang out with people who, who exclusively make, like... I don't, I don't know. If my chat was literally just to the N-word, I, I don't know, like, it would just be... I wouldn't be excited to hang out with those people. Um, I, I don't know, it's just so fucking annoying extreme person and you're going to try and put and you're going to try and uh post and publish these extreme views then you're going to have people that are going to go against them i tried to download cozy to watch augie it was awful look i don't want to bash cozy i think it's cool that some people are gaining a, like a voice again even if i disagree with them i think it's fine um my problem with cozy is that augie joined a fucking discord server with nick fuentes and got fucking banned welcome to cozy asshole we took your fucking discord and Discord obviously sucks, so if they don't just ban your account, now his account's just active, like, it's, it's just deactivated. But, like, he joins Nick Fuentes' fucking website, gets involved, and he's already deplatformed from something. And you could say, well, fuck, fuck the deplatforming, bro. Alright, but Nick Fuentes isn't Augie's fight. I don't know if that's really... Do you really want to fall on your sword for that? For Cozy TV, a site you're not going to make any new income on? Really? A site that you're gonna just restream to? Do you really want to do that? I don't know, you're a better man than me if you want to waste that fucking time. I, I mean, dude, imagine if Augie gets, like, so fucked from this, like, with MasterCard and something like- or, like, Visa, and he gets his fucking money pulled, because he's hanging out with a guy on a no-fly list? Like, I don't know, dude. Um, I respect people for having their opinions shared. I don't think Kobe's the- uh, Kobe. I, I don't think Cozy's the worst site ever, but, like, I'm not going on it, and I'm not using it. I don't want to be associated with it. 
Uh, I hate Fuentes, but he should be allowed to talk to somebody. I, I'll even fucking go saying, like, I think the guy could be funny sometimes. I don't watch him. I don't like him. But he could be funny sometimes. I don't think he should be deplatformed from everything and no fly lists and stuff like that. But, like, I don't know. I'm not gonna go get myself fucking banned from Discord to support it. Yeah, I don't want to actively ruin my streaming career. The reason why I think Destiny can do it is because they're conservatives that he debates. It's literally his core content. If I started streaming games on Cozy, people would literally look at me a certain way. Um, which I guess for some people is fine, and I'm not judging anybody for that. But um, I'm being rational with it. It's just not an affiliation I want to make. I don't want to have to... Like, Augie's fine with having to explain that to every single person who says something irrational and meme them on stream. I don't feel like having that conversation, so that's another reason I'll avoid it. Extreme views. You got people that are going to be able to break down that argument and actually prove it wrong by breaking down the argument in front of their own audience. The people that are in the middle, the people that aren't convinced on each side. I think this is a good platform for you. Oh, I love it. Uh, my Twitch is so much smaller than my YouTube audience, uh, and it just gives me an opportunity to be chill right now without getting too much shit on. I don't know if you know this. If you guys are watching the Twitch VOD and you've never seen the YouTube VOD, I have more concurrent viewers when I restream this to my YouTube channel. A day later. I'm not kidding. That's true. So, like, uh, I, I think I had, like, 250 people watching one of my last few streams that wasn't running uh, concurrently with Augie. And um, I had, like, 300 watching the VOD on a premiere. So it double dips uh, after the allotted time is up. And um, there's still a sizable amount of people who didn't make the plunge. And it's like, I don't hate those people, so I'm going to feed them some content. But, um... And I think sometimes it'll be a better thing for them. Maybe they want videos instead of streams. But yeah, um, it's cool. Here, I'll mod you, Acme. I know who you are. I'm careful with mods now, though. I, because let's be honest. Back to the fucking AIDS. And I promise you, it's about to get fucking aids here because this is about where I came in. You're not going to convince me to become a liberal. I'm sorry, you're not going to convince me to become a liberal. You, I'm a conservative. But the people that are in the middle of both sides that aren't convinced they're gonna listen to what you say and they're going to be like ah okay i do realize he's wrong but without you being there with these extreme websites where they go to where basically it's just extremists that twitch has banned or youtube has banned and it's just become extremist central over there that they're going to become more um they're gonna become more uh i i, I forget the word extremized radicalized radicalized they're, become, they're gonna become more radicalized just by being on that site because there's no actual discourse happening they're just stating what they're saying these people are taking it as fact if they were on twitch they would have people saying no 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 that's not that's not right what look at this and how i break it down and how it's wrong and take this and break here's the facts right but with these Here. can you just mention when it's an older vod on youtube i joined to support not knowing that it's old not that i uh, need acknowledgement uh so basically uh ivana when you watch my stream look down above my name anything on nick diorio 2 i'm never streaming on that account again so if you ever see anything live quote unquote on there uh, it's it's a premiere, but YouTube tells you it's a premiere. So instead of saying Nick Diorio is streaming or Nick Diorio is live, I forget what terminology they use. They say Nick Diorio is premiering, and uh, usually it's a slightly cut down version of the previous VOD. Or uh, I'll just make it a video if I have time. Right now I'm working on the Hassan video, so I'm not going to edit this down. I'm probably going to repost it as a VOD. So if you see anything live on YouTube, that's definitely not me streaming. Um, uh, on Half Baked, I do stream there. Yes. Um, well, I don't stream there. They stream there, but I, uh, I I appear on it because I believe that I no actually I can do that with my contract. But either way, with these extreme websites, with they're gonna become more radicalized. They're become more extreme by the second because no one's there to say no. This person's wrong. And as a matter of fact, we can't even play their videos on Twitch. Otherwise, we're gonna get banned. So we can't even play their videos and say, look, this is where he goes wrong. Yeah, Twitch is so fucking terrible, dude. Uh, Destiny's been banned, so now I can never play his video, show his face, or, like, fucking listen to his voice on stream. Like, he just doesn't exist. He's not a person. It sounds like Black Mirror. You can't Otherwise, criticize them. Can, can I ask... I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to do this, but can I ask you one question, Sprout? Yeah. If Jihadi John started a uh, Twitch channel and he started going like, man, look at, oh my gosh, man, those Americans dumb, man. You, you, ICE is actually pretty cool, boys. I mean, like, mm. 
Like, what would you do? You think that person should be banned? Jihadi John, you know the. No. No. Okay. No. Uh, I wanted to. By say the way, I do the, want to uh... clarify. Jihadi John would play League, okay? And he'd probably rank higher than Destiny. Okay, sorry. What would he play in League? What character? I don't know. I don't know enough about League. To... It should start socially enforcing real life rules where if you were in public and there was a trans person there, you're not going to run up to their face and start misgendering them aggressively without getting your fucking like getting punched in the fucking face. So, no, I don't think that the Internet has like a unlimited amount of rules where you can be as rude and shitty as you are on the Internet as you are in real life. I think real life rules should apply if this is something that can get. Right, there's a difference between getting punched in the face and banned and ostracized from society as a trans woman and through all of the the conversations like turfs are a hate group right turfs are people who want trans people eliminated they want them dead they want them lynched they uh the gender critical uh group wait so they said that dave chappelle is a turf right follow me here dave chappelle is a turf and so is uh the harry potter woman right those are TERFs. And now, her description of a TERF is someone who wants fucking trans people killed. So, I would assume this person would also call these people TERFs. Does Josie think that Dave Chappelle wants to fucking kill trans people? They want to lynch trans people? In Minecraft, of course. This is why these performative dumb fucks will have no purpose in regular fucking politics. It just, it simply won't exist. Because everything has to be taken to like the nth level. ...is a radicalization pipeline to the- The definition of a the... turf is atrocious. Yeah, I don't know anything about fucking uh, identity politics, and I, even I know her definition is ridiculous. Basically elimination of trans people to be able to exist in this, in this world. So for me, when I see transphobia and people who agree with those types of fur ways, I see them like Nazi, right? Because they want to see me dead just as much as a Nazi wants a Jewish person dead or, or a extremely bigoted racist or a KKK member wants a black person dead. And, and plenty so of anti-fascists want people wait, like me to be gone. I hate to interrupt, but no. uh, Danobo, our, our mover and shaker head, Okay, has just provided me a transcript of what was uh, said earlier, the entirety of the back and forth. I think everybody. Oh, okay the transcript. I, Thank you, Danabo. With the uh, forty-one percent joke. Everybody okay if I read it? Okay. Wait, sure. Dylan said. By the way, chat. Uh, Dylan's somebody saying this right now. And okay. The donation All right. By the way, Dylan's saying this right now. This isn't a quote. You just have to take Dylan's take out of it. It says, "Take comfort from the fact in thirty years this person will kill themselves." Destiny responds. Jesus Christ, it's tempting to embrace the 41 jokes, but I'm trying to stay, I don't even know why, this one, I'm trying to stay above board. Oh my god. That was god. what I wanted to bring up yeah, earlier. Are you like, fucking you kidding me? That, like, you said that he Wait, didn't... and her characterization of that is like, I wish I could embrace the 41%. Like her, so, oh my god, that's so delusional. It's like, I'm trying to stay above board, I'm not gonna make the jokes, is taken as... Like, he just wants to embrace trans people to fucking die. Okay? What a fucking take. Good one, Josie. Another banger take from, from the, the biggest genius I've met this week. Want to say it, but yeah, you said it's tempting to embrace. I think you can, I mean... I see Nazis everywhere. Thank you. Uh, let me see who was that. I don't know if I can. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. I'm sorry. Whoever, I don't have the thing set up. Please don't donate Streamlabs. Uh, I appreciate it. I think we can agree that, that like, there's a pretty, there's a pretty fine line. Like his yeah, end okay. result is that he doesn't want to, that he's trying okay, to be a okay, best boy. Okay, okay, oh yeah, no, I hear what you're saying. Okay, so okay. Not to. Yeah, so, okay, on. like, plausible. So, you guys. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's, wait, let's, wait, let's not derail. Okay, let's not derail. Uh, anyways, can I finish my point really I'll quick about what Yeah, please saying. finish. I want to hear it. I just want to finish I want to get to the list. Erudite, I'm adding you counterpoints. You're already on it. All right, if you're not unhinged, uh, you probably don't know what the t fucking... F is it the 41... F is it 41 or 42? I don't know. Basically, they're they're talking about how 42% of trans people kill themselves or something. I don't... That's the fucking... Uh, that's the uh, the comment, right? It's 41. Okay, good. Stop typing it in shot now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm saying as a trans woman, <laughs> and I know a lot of trans people in this space... No, you didn't have to nuke it. I asked. I, I asked. You guys are good. Uh, never mind. Whatever agree with the fact that TERFs and transphobes are a hate group that leads to the want 
for us to roadblocks ourselves to the point where it's like it's tempting to want to let <laughs> fucking dylan put on wrestling in the middle of the debate i, I caught that look at his face or a hate group that wait look at dylan's fucking face when he accidentally cuts off the debate for wrestling roadblocks ourselves to the point where it's like it's tempting <laughs> to want to let that kind of thought go through your mind. That's what I'm talking about. The fact that the end result is for us to be gone and eliminated and dead is the reason why Twitch is going to probably start tracking down on this type of behavior because it is ultimately ending up with the fact that suicide rates of our community is going on the rise currently because of the fact that there is a large community and society that don't even want us to exist. And a lot of these people are parents and, so and people are losing their lives. So this type of behavior, dude, this is the craziest destiny take I've seen yet. Behavior increases that in this way. Okay. It's not and when you push, like, it. if you believe he's transphobic, right? Banning him off Twitch, it doesn't delete the transphobia from the real world. Like if you don't want to see the transphobia on Twitch specifically, again, don't watch Destiny. Don't engage in spaces where Destiny is brought up, right? And I still haven't heard an example of how he's been transphobic to a person. I've just heard examples of uh, things that she doesn't agree with. Has anybody heard like legitimate transphobia? As far as transphobia in in the real world, that's going to exist whether or not you ban him. So the solution like of banning him doesn't actually fix the problem in any way that you couldn't personally fix yourself by modifying how you engage with the online sphere. Josie, so I have Can a I couple of uh, I, I actually, I wanna to go to the list. I'm sorry, there's a list here, a list that's developed over time. So- If I, if I, if I wait, then it's gonna be, it's gonna be, um, it's basically gonna be irrelevant if I wait. And I've been be, waiting for fucking ages. That'd be this funny. Is, and that's, be and that's why you're going to wait, because the, it'll then be funny, and I'll say, haha. So I'm going to throw it the loner. Yeah, so yeah, I just wanted to go back to the 41% thing. Promise. Okay, so, yeah, so Taft, like, of course, okay, yeah, he said, like, it's tempting to say that um, I don't want to, but I don't know why I don't. Like, okay, come on, like, plausible deniability here, right? Like, I know you're saying that just because he said... No, he dumbass. Hey, dumbass. The reason why he's saying that is he was super doomer that he just got banned after years of fucking arguing for trans rights because, like, the trans community fucking got him flagged offline. That's why he's mad. He's like, I should just be, like, a fucking complete douchebag. That's what he's saying. It, it, it could be interchanged with literally anything. It's like, I don't know why that, like, I'm not engaging in this behavior. And it's, like, played off as a joke. He doesn't want to do it. That means he's definitely, you know, not okay with it. But it's like, you know, who wouldn't actually agree with that argument you just made is destiny. He very convincingly makes the argument about Capitol Hill and how Trump technically didn't say go and storm the building, but he basically, you know, put the thought, plants the seeds and like allows, um, you know, chance to take it. So wait, do you think that him saying that I should be like fucking like ruder to these people is planting the seeds for people to genuinely hate transgender people? Where, where, where's the land there? If Destiny made a 41% joke, I don't believe that his entire, like, stance on trans people has changed. The difference between that and calling someone, like, a subhuman piece of shit, okay, whatever, if someone calls me a subhuman piece of shit, like, I guess if Destiny does, I'll call it a rite of passage. But, like, um, there's a bit of a difference between that and invoking, like, targeted, like, um, you know, 41% is very targeted, a very vulnerable group. I mean, like, yeah, I you think can probably say direct okay, response. Um, I just wanted to say one more thing as well about, about the Nazis. The difference with the Nazis, though, is that like it's it's the behavior that goes with the um, it goes with the ideology. Right, right. So that's like I think everyone who engages with um, Destiny in a bad way and he hits back at them. I don't think I often. See I wish they would describe what they actually mean when they say Nazis. I can't imagine everyone on this panel thinks a Nazi is like JF, who like argues for ethno states or something. Like I don't know, dude. I, I kind of want to. I, I wish they defined that term because I don't know what they're going for there. Um. See it when people don't fire first, right? He reacts to people. Like, um, I don't think I've, I tend to see him like go for someone unprovoked. That doesn't seem to happen. Whereas Nazis will attack people who didn't provoke them at all. That's their typical pattern of behavior. Source, like, what are you? Oh, God, I, I, everybody goes after people. Like, I don't know. What do you mean? Like, is going after unprovoked covering a drama topic? Because I think, like, everybody kind of does that. I don't know. Behavior. And I don't think you should... Right, okay, that's the perfect example. Do these people think flamenco is a Nazi? Like, is that their bar? Because if, like, if, the, if the, the term Nazi is defined as, like, 
flamenco, then of course I disagree, right? Then I'm not like then this makes no sense to me. Um, but if their bar is like um, person inciting violence on minorities, then like I kind of get where they're coming from. Did you watch the Prime Paddle on women's sports? No. Uh, there were alle allegations that conservatives wanted all trans to. Uh, oh, what the fuck are you talking? About? Okay, that's. Well, I, I I disavow that stance. Should expect people on Twitch to everyone to have like balls of steel to expect target to uh, harassment from Nazis because like if there are a bunch of Nazis on Twitch. No, 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 fuck that, fuck that. Okay, if you fucking debate far right people then you absolutely are opening yourself up to it. 100 fucking percent. Just don't debate Nazis then. If, if you're getting harassed by people you're actively fucking choosing to debate, knowing that you, like, knowing what you claim to know about how all these bad people, and you get pushback from it, grift somewhere else. Debate fucking leftists. Holy shit, are you kidding me? No, not at all. If you're going to go into the fucking, like, if you're gonna go on Cozy TV, Expect somebody to type the fucking n-word in your chat. Is it the best thing ever? Is it what you're looking for? Is that the type of viewer you want? No, but that's the byproduct of these fucking debates because you know why? Right-wing debates on for these twitch streamers do super fucking well because there's not an abundance of them There are not many right-leaning people who are willing to admit to outrageous points There are not a lot of people who are gonna get on and say that we need to protect the white race at all costs And when you get one, it's a very profitable stream. That's exactly why they do it um, thank you so much, uh, Geo Nug for the Prime. Um, like, that's just, I don't know, dude. There's a reason why people want to, like, constantly debate right-wingers, and it's not just to own them and destroy them. It's because if you find somebody who's going to own a crazy, yikesy position, you want them on. I.e., that's why Mr. Girl is so fucking popular, because he'll make an argument nobody else will. Now, you can have your fucking uh, argument as to whether he's good or bad for the community or whether he's a pedo or not a pedo or something, um, but, like, he's there because he's controversial. That's, that's the point. Right? But when you open yourself up to these communities that are known for harassment and you get harassed, like... Unless they're, like... Obviously, if they're, like, fucking, like, doxing you or swatting you, that's different. I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna have, like, people coming to your channel and saying you're, like, a douchebag and writing in your email and fucking DMing you on Twitter and the DMs you should have closed years ago, uh, like, I have no fucking sympathy for you. Like, none. Not even remotely. Not even some. They will deliberately target gay and fucking trans people and all that, and then... Those trans people will get chased off the platform. So you actually what is you don't chased off the platform. Who in fucking DGG chat is running around chasing people off the fucking platform? Like, oh god, fucking Booblicker four oh five. I'm gonna find your fucking address in Minecraft and I'm gonna blow up your Minecraft house. Like who the fuck is chasing these people off? I, I, is telling somebody they need a mental health break chasing them off? Dan, Action. it's Dan, yeah. It's Mr. Mooten when he fucking dies in League and then he like screams at all the trans people or something probably, I don't know. Believe in free speech when you say that. You believe in taking a side and letting Nazis chase people off the platform because they will do that. Can I do a direct oh, response to that? I, I uh, need, nope, I need, Nexus I need, Pro. I <laughs> Can I respond? No. <laughs> do you believe in the ACLU? Do you, do you support the ACLU? Yeah, they fight for equality of humans. Okay, do you understand the ACLU has defended Nazis before? Has defended, like, oh. the worst of the worst what? speech before? Yeah, Sprout, they defend they them def so... Sorry, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Loner Box. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Like, I don't want to answer the that. The ACLU, I'm, well, as far as I know, I might be wrong, is they tend to um, defend people, like, um, more from, like, in a legal sense, whereas we're talking about Twitch. We're talking about a platform, like, a gaming platform with terms of service. It's not really comparable. Well, Twitch, think, tw right? Twitch has become a... Twitch has become a platform where it's open discussion. That's what Twitch has become. It's become a platform that's been open discussion, and I think that if you're going to make it a platform that becomes open discussion, then you need to implement the laws of free speech, because at that point, you practically make yourself the town square. Just okay, as Twitter, uh, okay, Twitter actually... Uh, if it keeps going... Again, the ACLU were not be able to take the shit that people come behind them. Um, and I think that's where you're going. If there are people who are 
bringing up controversial things or there's a community of people who go into chats and challenge trans people on very fundamental things that they don't want to talk about for example like their gender identity the core of who they are wait can somebody here verify something for me is Josie the person? Okay, so Destiny told the story once on one stream where somebody told him to like to raid a trans charity to try to give them like um, more donations or something, and they reached out and said, "Hey, this person's doing a charity run for trans people. It would be a good look if you raided their stream and brought viewers to their charity event." And then after this happened, that person came out and said, "Destiny hate raided me." Is that fucking Josie? Does that does this ring a bell with anybody? I I could have sworn it was a couple months ago. I heard this conversation. No, I, does anyone know who that was? It was like two people. One said like you should run this fucking um you should raid into this stream of um like a trans charity. It would be a good look. And then like one person was like you're a fucking transphobe. You brought your transphobe Nazis to my chat. It's another person. Okay. Destiny's had a really bad run in with a lot of fucking trans creators. Like holy shit, dude. I'd be as doomer as him. Like imagine imagine that. Like, oh yeah, you should do this. Okay, I'll jump on with like totally good intentions, by the way. Like, it's just like, oh yeah, this will be good. This will get them some donations. And then you get called a transphobe for helping them. Like, fuck, dude. That's horrendous. We are and whatnot. If anybody could find that story offhand, if it's in a video or something, and link it to me, I'd love to hear that right now. But I think that we have to, we have to one, give people the tools to manage their own community and to ban people. And if that's not enough, I don't think that there's like a fundamental, I don't think there should be like a fundamental right to use, um, you know, to just go anywhere you want without any, ever seeing any kind of controversial items. I think it's good for society and for the health of our discourse that there are controversial topics discussed and that those things are discussed and challenged and debated openly, right? And I think it's negative if we are just catering to like the most sensitive people in society and modeling how we do discourse off of that. Can I pretty please respond? Um, so no, Turk. <laughs> Turk has to go. He's been waiting longer. Go Fuck for it, Connor. Me. Go for Thanks, it. Thanks, Turk. I love you so much. All right. So, Loner, I wanted to respond to you directly. So, so right. number bending and understood in be proper about how he's aggressive to people that he 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 goes after people with smaller smaller no it wasn't don't tell me it was keffels it was fucking keffels holy shit dude i have to oh i now i need that fucking story if that was keffels i'm fucking dying platforms he has he's been abusive he's just abusive and and he should have not been on that one point when somebody gave him money on a dono is like, oh, that's fucked up. You're out. Right. That would have been able to say, like, no, fuck you, dude. Like, you're gone. Right. But it wasn't. It was like, oh, it's it's, it's hard to not, you know, go, uh, if you're talking go, about a hate go. raid recently, Destiny didn't hate raid couples. That's a total fucking lie. She got pushed back for the Ian Miles Chung thing. Maybe even hate raided from Ian Miles Chung, but it was before they fucking even interacted. Like it was before Destiny even like fucking engaged with the conversation. Along with that, right? But he knows that he's walking that edge of almost being banned. I mean, hell, he even went on NFTs because he knew he would eventually get banned for that this type of behavior. And 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm and I'm gonna push back with you, IRA. I, I love. He didn't get. On NFT, he's going to get pushed back by this kind of behavior. He's going to get banned because it's, like... He basically said it was bullshit, right? Like, he's going to get fucking, like, nuked off the platform for nothing. Like, he literally got banned recently for saying an employee's fucking email. That was just, like, their email. I'm not even going to say what it is, but it's stupid. I love you. You know that. You know, we, we, we fight on the same battlefield of politics and trying to get, you know, good legislative policy that helps people. But in my opinion on this, like having people who do good things sometimes and then does and does a lot of negative harm a lot of times is not a justification to keep this going. Like, look, Destiny's been banned many times for these type of behaviors, many times and came back, many times and came back, many times and came back. And it's there's like no examples here. I can hear her fucking like brain rattling around inside of that hollow ass head. 
Like, holy shit, dude. He has been banned many times because of these behaviors. Uh, many times, and many times, and he was banned. And did you hear he was banned? Like, holy shit, dude. It's just, Twitch is just tired of it. And, and so for me... Is this, like, the spokesperson of fucking Twitch? Like, she knows all. She's, like, the, the oracle of Twitch ban policy. She knows everything that's going on. I look at it as hateful um, behavior that has been platformed over and over and over again. And the trans community, I'll tell you, the trans community has been very happy to see this aggressive person leave this platform. The trans community, let me tell you, I'm the Lorax, I speak for the trans people. They are very happy that this manipulating bad guy, this bad faith actor has been removed from Twitch. They are going, like, this is all, like what I was talking about before, like, oh, it's a safe space now that our bad faith actor is gone. Oh, she's friends with Doe? Yeah, I mean, I'm, that's... Par for the course on these on these types of arguments. I mean, Doe is not much smarter. Um, because it makes our community better as a whole of this community of Twitch streamers. And even if you liked him and maybe he platformed you, maybe he didn't. The fact of the as matter is, all of you it are makes good our community enough without Destiny being here. That's such a fucking ignorant thing to say. She, now she's not just the Lorex that speaks for the trans. She's the Lorex that speaks for the Twitch. She speaks for Twitch policy. She speaks for trans people. She speaks for Twitch streamers. She speaks for the Twitch chatters. She's literally the fucking. She's an entity outside of our fucking being. She knows all. She's a an, an, an omnipotent god. That's what it is. Way to go. Sick. Propping you up. And oh. and it's about having that content that you can create that you can be able to have good, intelligent discourse. And don't get me wrong- oh, are, are people fucking crawling on in now? I guess Augie ended. Boys, we're about to hit the fucking- This is perfect. Augie ended right as about- We're about to enter the fucking megadome of fucking memes right now, okay? We'll catch you up. Don't worry. I'll go on the same fucking rant again, because it's coming. I can hear it, bro. Wrong. We're supposed to debate- trans sports later and i really want to get to oh, that boy, and i want to so have good. an intellectual conversation and apparently trans sports debates happen on here i wonder what the takes were there but whatever about what the advantages are of hrt and how it how it how it equals things out and i'm ready to have that intellectual conversation because it's very relevant to the fact that 80 right, or 83 on. bills in the country you know 70 sorry 74 bills across the country are trying to specifically ban trans people from sports Okay. I'm not saying that we can't have discourse about trans people. I'm not saying that we can't have an intellectual conversation about their existence. Look, me and Sprouticus had a very good conversation about trans issues, and and we and it and, and, and it and it turned into a great conversation. And I feel that it did an actual good. But having a con guys, it did a good one single good. Oh, we could rank these on the metrics. We we've consumed one good for today. Hopefully, we'll get a good tomorrow. Is this is English not her first language? Like what the fuck is this? Continual aggressive person that does attack and does do this harassment campaigns on people. Does do this harassment cam am, am I brain dead? Does these harassment campaigns. Does do this harassment campaigns. Like we're mixing like fucking plurals. Okay. People is a good thing. And if you if you if you gotta believe By the way. I'm sorry, we're like an hour into the stream. We've yet to define what a harassment campaign was or give an example of when one occurred. Like, I'm literally not even fucking making this up. If you if you haven't been paying attention, we are fucking one hour into the stream. Or, what are we? An, oh, sorry, we're two hours. We're two fucking hours into the stream on my end, and we have yet to hear a, a constant definition of what a harassment campaign or a hate raid is, or nor an example of either. We've just now taken it as fact that Destiny has inflicted them. Um... Oh. That logic, because you have to play it through. Like can he's an aggressive respond? individual. Can Can I just respond quickly, Josie? To me, this is the same as Bernie Sanders taking Joe Rogan's endorsement. You've got to deal with some people that aren't perfect in order to achieve change. Joe's perfect. Fuck you. I'm kidding. All right. Joe Rogan oh. isn't calling. To, like, isn't isn't destiny in a sense, right? Now, Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking what an intellectual take could you do you guys see the playing field we're on right now uh joe rogan w gave his fucking uh thing to bernie sanders and bernie took his endorsement well uh, <laughs> joe rogan isn't destiny like 
<laughs> got to deal with some people that aren't perfect in order what to achieve What a fucking change. high fucking bar. Response. Joe Rogan isn't calling, to, like, isn't isn't destiny in a sense, right? Now, Joe, Joe Rogan has worse. his problems. Joe uh, Rogan's yeah. Joe Rogan has... What was she going to say? Joe Rogan isn't calling for the death of trans people and then just expected that conversation to go like, oh, like I don't know, nuclear mode the second everyone went, wait, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, and Bernie no. took his endorsement no. and he was thrilled. Right. Thrilled! Look, it wasn't even a great look, endorsement. I, I, I am not. I look. I am not here to defend Joe Rogan, but I will tell you that Destiny is worse because of its individual attacks on trans people. Individual so. attacks on trans. Okay, so everyone keeps asking what his attacks on trans people were. So far, she's given the example of stealthing discourse and the fucking um, the discourse on like ten amount to rape, like fucking disclosure arguments. Neither of those are specifically targeted attacks on trans people. We have yet to establish one fucking example that even remotely like touches her fucking point. It, it's it's infuriating. Holy shit, dude! Not even a great look, endorsement. I, I I am not. I look. I am not here to defend Joe Rogan, but I will tell you that Destiny is worse because of its individual attacks on trans people. So Josie, because that um, individual someone, come on, can lead the self harm of people, not Joe so Rogan. Jo Josie, I do, guess... you think, do you think that people who no think one's gonna ask. Who generally no one's gonna uh, ask. talk come bad on, about trans people or talk? God, I wish I was on this fucking panel. Talk, uh, or or even transphobic. Do you think that do you think they don't deserve a space to actually talk where there, it's not going to be people that are just more radicalized and to where actually people like you can pop in and say, hey, this is where this is wrong, this is where this is wrong. Do you not think they deserve that space to actually engage in the public discussion? I mean, I, I've, I've had many of those conversations that weren't destiny, right? And okay. I, and that's the thing, like, like destiny has specifically go, and look, do you, do you realize that a lot of the reasons why a lot of people don't go after destiny in particular is because they're afraid of the backlash, doxing, attacks, all of those things those, that's a very real thing like we're afraid of destiny because of doxing and attacks okay so now let's let's put this on the list destiny's a doxer uh he's a harasser and he's a hate raider okay keep going i mean everybody here has got to know that right like nobody takes a shot at destiny because of the fact that his entire community will dogpile you I, like i shit. feel that it's fear i talk to destiny i've never been dogpiled I, I i wasn't doxed by him i've been doxed not by destiny what are you talking about i mean and, and it's like at least when you ask people like stardust or any of these people on this panel surely none of them will turn around because all of these people are i assume are people destiny likes or, or is engaged positively with right i am not i've never had a positive interaction with destiny on a stream Ever, I think my uh, actually I had a neutral experience with him on a Stardust panel, and I had a I got like fucking destroyed in a debate on my own channel. So I've never been fucking doxxed. I don't know. Every day, well, not by him. Because a lot of the people on the left love to do that. I'm getting like, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. Everybody, stop. Erudite has been waiting a while. They're next on the list, so I'm gonna throw it over to Erudite. Was... I'm I'm struggling because a, a lot of these accusations, like I I would I would understand Joseph being like I agree that there are times like I would never say the things the way that Destiny does basically ever. Oh, That's thank not my... God, Erudite's gonna actually say something good. No, no, not that she hasn't before, but I was just waiting for somebody to fucking pick this up. My style. Um, uh... um, the issue is that like a lot of these claims about like brigading and all these things like seem like pretty unsubstantiated. Like when I've like looked into them, and my concern is that like there seems to be like a bit of a narrative being built of like vilifying destiny, which is completely flying in the face of so much good that I've seen. And yes, there's going to be problematic elements, and I'm willing to explore what those are and the proper responses to those things. But my issue is that it feels like right now, like there's so many accusations. I have like some of the things that I've seen that are being levied at him and his wife and his family are like mind-blowing targeted attacks whereas most of the stuff i've seen from him huh i thought you liked destiny yeah i like destiny i, I enjoy watching his streams i'm not gonna pretend that i got a destiny bump or the destiny is in any way like endorse me or my my situation like anything here i had an overall negative reaction because i was like destroyed on his stream so if anything like this horde of doxers that he allegedly harvests would dislike me right like after that conversation uh, nothing happened to me. 
Like, I didn't have any any crazy backlash that occurred to me. So, uh, surely this isn't an everyone thing. When she says everyone has to know, surely everyone doesn't have to know because I had a bad interaction with him. And, um, I lived this fight another day. Like, nobody can talk to me about fucking hate raids. I don't want to hear hate raids from any of you fucking twitchy, like, idiots. Okay? Dude, I had fucking dream imply that I was the guy who said the fucking N-word in the John Swan situation. Which was super funny, by the way. And I have no ill will towards dream. But I also had about fucking... 4,000 notifications in under 10 minutes, all right, on my Twitter. I've had my Twitter fucking raided, okay? I logged on to streams all throughout the year. What was it, 2020 or 2021? I forgot. For like six fucking months, dude. For like six fucking months, I got on stream every fucking day, and my address was put there, Tommy's address was put there, Augie's address was put there, Tipster's address was put there. Everybody, dude, spamming my fucking shit, all right? all over my fucking thing. I got hate rated for like six consecutive months and by the end we were just laughing at them. So I don't want to hear like, oh my god, I've been hate rated. Oh no. I don't, I, it's just, I don't, you're allowed to have like a, a, a like a, a disappointment with hate rating. You're allowed to say it sucks and then it should be removed. But don't fucking tell me you know more about hate rating than I do. Or backlash. Or pushback. I'm a fucking drama YouTuber. I guarantee I've dealt with far fucking worse than the 20 fucking people who entered your chat. Shut the fuck up, please, ma'am. Like, chill. Uh, Augie with the fucking gifts. Yo, congratulations on episode 300, buddy. I'm so, I'm so fucking hyped for you. Your show's awesome. I appreciate it. Is retweeting specific individuals in a public hey, space he? versus getting like I don't think he's DMing people. My understanding is that when people in his community are going out of their way to brigade, to hate on people, to do any sort of like banning and toxic and like these behaviors that I would agree are super toxic, they get banned from all of his. That dono didn't get banned. That dono didn't get banned. He made a joke about it immediately. And look, Eridai, I'm not trying to sit here and say you're wrong and you don't understand on how it was happening. In Look, I know a lot of people who have been personally hurt by Destiny when it comes to what his community has done. And most of them are trans femmes. And guys, most of the people that Destiny has ha has done damage to are trans femmes. Not any of the, again, fucking Nazis who debated for like eight years. And it's very clear. And look, do you think that all these trans people are just lying about it? <laughs> just <laughs> Yo, all these trans people. This is like the leafy of the left, okay? Guys, so like five fucking trans people have reached out to me and said that Keemstar was talking shit, you know? Oh god, like dude, literally he was talking shit about us to like literally five different trans people. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm hearing right now, it's so fucking stupid. What did you turn into? The worst thing ever, it's gonna get so good. This is, I, I, it's, it's amazing, this is the greatest fucking Dylan stream in a long time. Josie, can the I issue point is that five? There's, there's trans Wait. people on the other side that are supporting him, and so it's like the issue is like to act like it's like it's this not as many as the other way. It's not. It look. Are you? Can I get some statistics on that? She's like, there are trans people that support Destiny. There are more that don't like him. Let me prove it. Here's my Discord server. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm trying to say that all of these people. Hey, wavy web surf. Is that really you? Let me give you uh that. Oh. who have made this claim over the last 11 years 11 years about it? wait On destiny's been fucking harassing trans women for fucking 11 years 11 years dude i don't even know what trans people fucking were 11 years ago what uh, <laughs> like what are you talking about <laughs> Dude, the lefty arc's been like three years, like at maximum. Calm down. It's supposed to, oh god. It's my code, White Claw. <laughs> Honestly, I would like to see evidence for like that. Stop, I just want to say, loner, stop talking over trans voices. Terrible. <laughs> Listen, Destiny's gone. Someone needs to take the role, all right? Okay, okay, sorry. Eridite, can you, you can finish quickly? That was a good one. Yeah, I, 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 it, it feels like a lot of these allegations are like fully aimed at just being like, Destiny is a big evil villain, which like fly in the face of so many things that I've seen of him, like debating with staunch conservatives, making a space in the Twitchosphere for leftists to actually exist. Like, it seems like so many of these claims that. Way that. Guess how many people are in her server? Please guess. 
Guess how many people are in your server? Please guess. I'm sorry, I didn't see who sent that again. Please don't do uh, Streamlabs again, because I don't have it set up. So I, I can only hear it, because I don't have it done correctly. But uh, I'm not sure. Um, you could write it in chat, though. Even highlight the message with channel points. You don't have to give me money for that. At the DGG community often uh, dogpiles is literally getting into your mentions and saying, I'm not harassing you. Where's the picture of harassment? Where's the picture of harassment? Where's Thank the picture you. of harassment? Oh my God, this and is so fucking bad. 50 fucking people in your mentions asking for the picture the, the pictures of harassment so if you took a snapshot like literally if i took a snapshot of the people who were in my mentions or if i took a snapshot of the people who were in other people's mentions it would be 50 to 100 fucking people saying i'm not harassing you which by the way for me is the digital equivalent of somebody sticking a fucking finger in your face and pretending that they're not in your personal space so while i do understand like i'm actually i i'm i'm halfway with uh what erudite said where I haven't seen substantiation of the the like stalking or doxing or criminal activity or anything like that, but I have seen. Okay, this is where I got into the stream. I think this take is fucking stupid. You can't fucking control your entire audience, and Destiny's not sending people to harass. Destiny's not hosting fucking raids. He's not sending people to fucking streamers specifically by typing their name in chat. And again, they're gonna mention this a billion times, so I don't have to. Destiny bans anybody who gets caught doing these fucking raids and gets messaged over. If you can post proof of it, he's done it out of this community forever. He's been fucking totally fine on this front. This take is ridiculous. Twitter and Twitter and fucking comment YouTube dog piles basically do like like I said. Dude, your problem and unfortunately you can't fucking really debate this. Your platform is like significantly fucking smaller than his. That's like, if I go after PewDiePie, I'm gonna get a shitload of comments from PewDiePie fans, just these are adults. The point is, you're never gonna fucking win the optics war. You're trying to blame a guy for being too fucking successful. And that's what this argument is. That's why we in commentary don't fucking sit here and play this, ah, oh, you could take it, uh, you, you take responsibility for your audience thing. No, okay? In Twitch politics, they try this shit. Fucking push that shit back, alright? Because it's literally, dude, when people say you're responsible for your audience, and use that as a point against you that's like the fucking big streamer tax okay it's like you give these people a few points because you're too big of a streamer to argue with them that's all it is um not saying a malicious comment but 500 fucking people saying a mildly annoying comment and to pretend that that's like borderline like i'm not saying destiny endorses this or anything like that but there. to me that shows a certain cleverness within the the dgg community where they know that as long as they individually don't say hey you're a uh, insert slur here piece of shit and i hope you kill yourself then they know that if they get screenshotted saying i'm not harassing you where's the photo of harassment but there's 500 of those motherfuckers they can basically have all right i can answer this so when people say i'm not harassing you in your messages it's because you're accusing them of harassment if you falsely accuse somebody of harassing you and sending their audience to harass you you've now said something stupid now a large amount of people who disagree that they were like harassing you or that people were harassing you are now going to come and let you know that you're not being harassed that's what happened. It's not that Destiny sent his audience to be coy and snarky. It's not that the audience is trying some sly way to create harassment. You're a fucking... It like, not you as the person I'm talking about. But... You as the hypothetical person who have accused Destiny of harassment have made the mis like the, the poor judgment call of not researching what the fuck you're talking about, and now you're getting online criticism. People are shitting on you publicly because you said something stupid. It's not Destiny's fault that dumb people say stupid shit and people retaliate, okay? That's that's the large streamer tax. That's what that is. The intended emotional effect without having the, uh, the hey, receipts good, actual effect. So so that's where, for me, this area is a lot more fucking nuanced than DGG Stimps want to fucking do. Hey, Connor, so. Connor, you think Destiny can control even 50 people saying stuff hey, in his community? This is guy who's thousands of people watching he, him. He has no control over this stuff. It's his personality. Yo, you can't... Guys, it's over. We can't be abrasive online anymore because people might be mean. Good fucking take, dude. Good fucking take. And by the way, when I say dude, I don't mean, like, anything about gender in specific. I just say dude a lot, so when they plan on clipping that one out of context, I just want to make sure I got ahead of that.
Can I can I do the direct response? I think that okay. So I think this is part of uh, where I'm sympathetic to both sides because I'm a content creator and I went from you know a thousand subs to fifteen thousand subs. There are a lot more people who are saying annoying shit to me every fucking day, and the fact that they don't think that I will come down and say, "Hey, motherfucker, here's the stupid shit you fucking said." The fact that they think that I won't do that, dude. Quote, tweeting stupid people is so fucking based, but blocking them is more based. And I will fucking die on that hill makes me do it more and i quote tweet the fuck out of people if they're being annoying and shitty to me because hey, fuck them right but destiny's a huge huge operation man he, true, everybody thinks he's some true. guy who just presses start stream and then he sits there all day and replies to twitter the guy's well, got businesses and stuff man like okay okay no no like, but but this is but this is what i was gonna say is so i'm sympathetic to destiny's perspective where people come at you and they think because you're big, you're not going to go back after them. And it's like, fuck you, I'm a human being. I got feelings. I'm coming back after you, right? I'm sympathetic to that part of it. The part of it that I think we have to acknowledge as a power dynamic is that if you're a fucking person with 100 follows or, or whatever, and you quote tweet that motherfucker, then they're going to get dogpiled. All right, it's just I don't care about his take. Being um, dicks, it probably... This is where it goes, you're like, on when absurd. you're doing this because I, It's not... Any, like, there's a reason to get rid of serious claims being made when I've like I've publicly watched people call him a rapist walk it back a little bit but then like still make claims that are actually inaccurate to what he'd even claimed before and look the stealthing conversation I've said openly I don't think he said it in a great way at all right the issue is that like there's so many claims being made against him that are unsubstantiated these brigading complaints uh Clean. Oh, fucking so base calling her a fucking liar on the stream. Oh, God. I wish someone would have just turned around and said, hey, you didn't get fucking brigaded. At least not by Destiny. Destiny didn't brigade you. Hey, hey, Josie, Destiny didn't brigade you. Hey, Josie, reminder, Destiny didn't fucking brigade you. I wish somebody just sat there and kept... Rep I wish fucking Infrared, still like Destiny, was on this panel and go, you haven't demonstrated that Destiny has brigaded you. You haven't demonstrated that Destiny has brigaded you. You haven't demonstrated... Because she's just fucking spouting it off, and people are just starting to, like, take it at this point. Because now we've entered an hour of, or two hours of the fucking conversation. And at this point, it's just like, it's on the record. It's there. We're, just, we're taking it as fact because nobody's pushed back against it enough and everything and it's like we need to be really careful before we make claims about people when we have no evidence for it like i have evidence when i was brigaded when i went and made a comment about destiny brigading maddie i was put on his maddie all right chat fucking answer the question is maddie the person who faked the dms is maddie the person who faked the dms is that who that was maddie's the one who faked the dms all right guys we're gonna do a little truth sleuthing okay Time out. Time the fuck out, alright? You ready for this one? We're gonna try to piece together... Uh, we're gonna piece together what happened, okay? Hold on. Alright, 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 guys. Calm down, calm down. Okay. It the issue is that, like, there's so many claims being made against him that are unsubstantiated, these brigading complaints, uh, complaints and everything. And it's like, we need to be really careful before we make claims about people when we have no evidence for it. Like, I have... All right, all right, claims. All right, there are claims that are being made with no fucking evidence. All right, we have to find what the claims are. What, what the fuck are the claims? Evidence when I was brigaded, when I went... And oh my god, she was brigaded. Okay, we're gonna get some proof. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're gonna keep it going, keep it going. Made a comment about Destiny brigading Maddie. I was put on his uh, D panel. There were people calling me, oh, look at this. Open mouth, like, blah, blah, blah. They were calling me. They were they were even saying transphobic comments. There was, like... Transphobic I, that, comments? That's all that went around in that, in that forum for a while. Okay. Um, all right. You know, and that's how, oh, that's how that went. Right, like, it, it, and if you don't believe... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. A clip was... So there's a clip, which means she talked about it on stream, and then she said she she, she defended Maddie Cakes. And Maddie Cakes lied. So, I wonder what happened here. Guys, do you, can you guys figure out what happened here? So she was brigaded by Destiny. And, and she defended someone who lied. And there's a clip about it. Oh! Dating happens and you just... I can't, I can't put my finger on it. What's going on here? Oh, we have a, we have a thread? What is this? What is this, guys? 
Maddie Cakes lies about death threats. What is this, chat? Maddie Cakes. Hmm. Let me go with uh trying not to be rude or anything. Genuinely asking, because I don't know I don't use Twitter that much. But is that supposed to be there? This was my first threat that I received. It was pretty far down my inbox because I was flooded with DMs. After yesterday's stream, mostly positive notes about the panel, for all I know, it could be the same deranged person. Once again asking, TGG, leave me alone. Okay. Hmm. Hey guys. Do you see a smudge? Does chat see a smudge? Does my chat see a smudge? Oh, what could that be? Chat, wait, wait a minute. Is that my monitor? Let me try to wipe it off, chat. Do you see that? That little beautiful smudge. Huh. Call me a liar. Flip went around in that in that forum for a while, um, he, you know, and that's how that's how that went. Like, it, hey, it, hey, and hey, if you hey, don't hey. believe brigading, hey, dumb fuck, okay? You sided with somebody who fucking lied, so people clowned on you, okay? Destiny didn't send a fucking hate raid to harass you. You defended somebody who fucking lied about death threats, and then you turned around and said that you were being brigaded. Shut the fuck up. That's what happened. It's not crazy. I'm sorry that, like, you picked the wrong side. It's not justification to support a fucking ban. You're an idiot. Absolutely delusional. That's not an example of brigading. You just got critiqued for saying fucking dumb shit online. Deservedly so, by the way happens and you just call me a liar then just do that be smarter uh, i didn't exactly say brigading never say. happens i said i need evidence that destiny has actively coordinated or encouraged or been behind and so fucking based any of these brigades because absolutely they're going to be bad actors in the community and i'm he, un, un, unwilling to even see the that there are not community. people he's the leader of that community so when he doesn't say to do something and something happens anyway it's his fault like what are you Holy shit. Like, imagine holding everybody to this unreasonable fucking standard. This is only said by either dumb fucks who want, like, somebody to get fucked over, and they don't know how to do it, or how to have the best way to go about it, or somebody who's never fucking had a sustainable platform of any large size at, or stature at all whatsoever. Like, I would expect this take from, like, fucking, like, I don't know, somebody smaggle daggle size, like a 1k YouTuber who's like, I can control everybody in my five-person Discord server. They all do what I say. Like, holy shit. Um, could even bother to use inspect element. Yeah, fucked up the Photoshop job. He's the, the leader. The issue that is that you are not fully is culpable every, for every, every action. Creator... You have to do your best to control your con your group as much as possible, and then apologize when they screw up. Which is why when so I went on a debate with Chud and I got a ton of misogynistic comments and stuff, I just took it directly to Chud, and he just handled it personally. And my understanding is that Destiny does that all the time as well. Yep. But that's not actually the case because he continues to create it over and over and over. He creates like, it by having opinions I don't like. He continues to create it over and over and over. That's literally it. It comes down to that. Destiny has opinions I don't like, so therefore he creates violence. Uh, and it creates a situation where people are getting hurt by Destiny, as we'll come to, as we'll come to know. Over. Exactly.
It's like pointing the finger at somebody and being like, don't arrest this person that I don't like. It's like, okay, so now disclaimers are bad, which I agree with. Disclaimers are useless, but like, you can't sit here and go like, hey guys, stop harassing people and then go, oh, by the way, thank you so much. Uh, lay something. I appreciate the one. Um, fucking yeah. So, um, I don't know what I was saying. I, I, I lost my train of thought. Oops. Fuck. Come on. I, I mean, if you're on Twitch and you're debating someone and you're engaging with that person, like the inevitable reality is that some people are going to dislike what you said, right? And I think it's a far cry to say, listen, I engaged with this big figure and a lot of people disagreed with me this is so and came true. into my chat and made that clear versus, oh, Destiny actively coordinated this. I'm like a huge Taf Taj fan after this fucking stream. I might even follow her on Twitch brigade of someone he got people together and said you know we need to go in this person's chat and harass but, them these are very different things this absolutely cuts both ways though okay and the the oh, way that it cuts both ways is I'm basically sorry. I, I, I think I spoke fucking, to it earlier. I know the meme now. All right, so disclaimers. So they say they're, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you make a disclaimer, people say that you're encouraging harassment like in a sly manner by saying like, oh, don't harass these people. They, they would hate that. that. That's how it's interpreted by these fucking assholes. And then there's people who are like, uh, yeah, uh, you know, honestly, like, I, I think disclaimers are stupid. I don't think they're pointless. Oh, this guy won't even put a fucking disclaimer. This guy's such a fucking subhuman. He won't even disavow, like, harassment in his fucking community. He literally needs to be banned. So it's either, like, you literally need to be banned because you won't disavow the harassment, or you do disavow the harassment, but you're using that to dog whistle. It's so fucking cringe. Like, all these people are such spineless little cowards. I can literally regurgitate the talking points. It's a content and attention farming tactic to be outrageous, to have somebody onto your stream, to debate them. Also, I mean, I, fuck, dude. I just want to say it. I'm not against backlash. I mean, I know all these people are way more pro-cancel culture than me, so this shouldn't come as a shock to them. But, like, holy shit. If you say dumb shit online, I have no fucking problem with people telling you how bad it sucked. Okay? I'm just not trying to swing my community in any such manner. And that's my prerogative. I, I, I disavow that. And also, a lot of companies seem to disavow that. So, I'm not going to fucking swing my audience. I'm not going to raid people. I'm not going to do any of that shit. But... If you say something, like, if someone I don't like on, on like, a, I don't know, like, if Hassan gets into a bunch of drama and people berate the fuck out of Hassan, someone who's insurmountably larger than me on every social media site, I still think that's deserved. Like, Hassan had a stupid take, and now he's being, like, fucking, like, reprimanded for it publicly. You're a person who signs up for social media and gets to have their fucking day job be literally playing fucking video games and talking about shit that does or doesn't matter depending on who you are, okay? If the worst part of your day is someone calling you a fat ass or, like, fucking, like, saying that your your take on Twitter is stupid or something like that, you're living a, a, a significantly better day than some of your other fucking people. And that goes triple for if you're a fucking LGBT uh, person, okay? Because if your biggest problem is somebody on Twitter said something fucking mean to you, you're way more privileged than my friends who live in third world countries where they can get thrown off of fucking rooftops if they're gay, okay? Like, I mean, it's just such a fucking, like, right of privilege that I'm noticing when I see this kind of shit in chat. It's, like, fucking infuriating. Um, you're a coward, Nick. Abuse your power to cancel people. Hey, Keo, what's going on? Um, let me give you that. Try to make them look like a fool, and then uh, basically end the interaction. And then if people hate you for the way that you engage with that content, then you basically uh, you quote tweet the shit out of them or make fun of them for the lulls and the memes. And I'm addicted to this pattern as everybody else is. Josie was talking about like a better Twitch where we have a less toxic environment. I'm as addicted. A better Twitch isn't a less toxic environment. I just disagree. I, I literally think that it's fine to disagree with people. I think it's fine to argue with people. And I love blood sports, as I think he says in the next. Did the blood sports as everybody yeah, else? I, I don't think a better Twitch is now possible. I just part. think we're going to get worse iteration or worst iterations of the same pattern. But. At the same time, 
is there not some responsibility for the clout farmers, uh, the clout farmers uh, perspective where maybe it's not fair that they got banned, but also you kind of have to accept it's the same thing with like Vosh with like the pedo comments. It's the same thing with Vosh with the, the, uh, what well, the glass is real and all that kind of stuff. He knew he was making an inflammatory con comment, but he also knew that he was going to get attention off of it. And he's been paying a price ever since. This is the same thing with the stealthing conversation. This is the same thing with having the debate with Hans of Ark here immediately after where he was emotionally compromised. This is the same thing as having the uh, basically knowing that the entire of Twitter sphere, political Twitter sphere, was sensitive about trans sports specifically because of all the banning bills, but saying, hey, listen, I've been doing research. I'm staking out a position and I'm going to go on a 9v1 fucking panel debate against people affirming my position. Now, I think that can be productive. I think that can be awesome, but when you meme too close to this, I'm from where there's always a possibility of me being kicked out of my job for being into chicks. So it's always enraging when I see people coping about their ten viewer hate raids. I, it's such a fucking like reality, right? Like that's so true. It's insane. Um... Son, you get fucking torched. This is Icarus all fucking over again. So you know it, it cuts both ways. Okay, I'm going to go back to the list. Turk, your time is now. Yeah, so basically, uh, this could probably be my closing too. Uh, you know, Rose, I I completely feel and I want to continue to be respectful to the conversation that's going on. But you got to remember, if you put the shoe on the other foot, there's plenty of other people in other communities that have been dogpiled and have been put on uh, really strict notice in all of these different uh, social media circles. Uh, there's been a long time as a conservative where I've had a target literally on my back. And if I show my face on a panel, I get dogpiled. <sighs> you, you could probably mention discourse damage. Is Sprout. Unless Josie wanted to respond to that. I mean, I could talk about it real quick um, because I know, I know we probably need to move on to other as well. But, you know, the idea about, you know, I like if you don't like it, like getting dogpiled is part of the business and everything like that. And it's like, look, I am against anybody who's going to be using brigading tactics, uh, using abuse. Still no fucking examples. Nothing. Uh, going after people's immutable characteristics. I don't care if they're left or right like you know I, I i debate like people on that side too and you know any type of behavior it's like i'm not just saying oh destiny's the only person the audience leads to content 200 percent. if people want to get it it's delivered if you don't deliver the content someone else will grab the cloud base fucking base gear person that is doing this and da 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 it's just that destiny is banned now and you know it's indefinite so we don't know when that if he if he's ever going to come back we know that that happened and Wait, how do you I, feel about Cracker? What do you mean? <laughs> I think, Counter. well, it, <laughs> right, and, and Twitch on. knows that trans people that, you know, who are people of color in particular, been presenting, have a very hard time and a very short set shelf life on this on this platform. They know it's a good business decision for them to have more content creators that are... Good business decisions for the fucking bajillion dollar fucking company amazon coming from the socialist right that's a great take I, it's actually such an influential position i'm so glad a little bit more diverse instead of the <laughs> bubble bath still no examples <laughs> i'm getting bullied off by certain individuals and look like 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 you said he meme too close to the sun he's been here for 11 years that he should know better out of anybody else on this panel on how not to get banned on twitch but he has continually... Yo, what a fucking useless sentence. I know I'm, like, fucking writing this hard, but what a fucking useless sentence. He's been here a long time. He, out of everybody, should know how not to get banned on Twitch, a website that literally doesn't tell Dr. Disrespect or apparently Destiny or apparently Mr. Girl why they were fucking banned in the first place, a website that's so finicky you can get banned for literally everything or nothing. Nobody knows. And it seems like different fucking rules get shelled out for bigger and smaller streamers. Like, holy shit, what a waste of a sentence. Christ. Uh, I don't know. Like, maybe if you're on YouTube, you could make that argument because the TOS is a bit better. But, like, Jesus, even on YouTube, I would say that that doesn't make as much sense. I mean, the thing is, like, Destiny should know how not to get banned. We still don't even have a reason on why he was banned. So once we know what it is, we could probably pinpoint it a little better. But oh, that's just insane. 
push that button. Do we know what he got banned for? Because if it's a trans sport debate, that's some bullshit. That's what I'm thinking it is, because they said it was uh, harassment on platform, as far as I know. Uh, not harassment, hate speech on platform. So, I mean, if it was the N-word on Twitter, I think that's... Even then, I think that's a fucking outrageous ban, but it's more understandable because Twitch is known to do off-platform bans. I come from YouTube where that doesn't happen as often. It's very rare, and it's only when something hits the newspapers, right? So, like, I think off-platform bans are outrageous. Um, I, I just, especially for that joke that he, like, the, that stupid joke that he posted that he shouldn't have posted in the first place. Um, but even then, I think if it's the transport debate, it's even worse. I, I, just, I wish I knew, right? I wish I could. I wish I can get an example. Um, it was hateful behavior, but it, they don't cite what the hateful behavior was. This guy streams for hours. Um, oh, they gave multiple. It wasn't just hateful behavior. I'm sorry. Um, and but now he doesn't know gone. why he was banned. He'll probably know later. But, but we all I have to see the Nick Diorio streams on YouTube again when we get fucking banned. Hey, listen, I'm probably going to get departnered before I get banned, okay? So then we just got to be nice a little while and then beg for it back, okay? Oh, no. I need to keep my check mark so I can swing my dick in smaller streamer chats. Oh, that it's a cumulation of probably of a lot of different things. So, so when it comes down to it, like, Twitch is making a business decision to try to keep people on this platform. Hell, do you think, like, look, I'll tell you a per personal thing. I thought about leaving Twitch after after the Destiny debacle. <laughs> oh, no, here we go. Yo, you guys want the trauma dumping? Did somebody order a plate of trauma dump? Guys, I just want you to know that she's going to say something terrible here, and I'm not going to have any sympathy for it. My voice is not going to change. The inflection of my tone is not going to change. If you're easily offended, back the fuck up now, because I'm going to make fun of this, and I'm so sorry. This might be my nuclear moment. This might be my Chud Logic moment, dude. This might be where I put, like, the N in the first letter of horse. I don't know, dude. This is about to get crazy, all right? when 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 the brigaders came after me like i i seriously considered it i was like maybe i shouldn't be here on this platform you probably shouldn't based off this conversation you it would probably be at your benefit to leave like or at least take some time off like before you said you can literally feel it like you could feel it when people say stuff like when, when destiny sweets show up or uh fucking uh the harry potter lady sweets pop up you're obviously not in a good state of mind you probably should take some time off or quit maybe this isn't for you um, platform because I'm a professional. I have a day job. I do this for a hobby. This isn't something that I'm doing to try. Me too. Don't grandstand to me. I have a day job and this is a hobby. Okay, I'm, I just I handle it just fine. We're good. Try to make money and make this my full time career. Okay. It really did seriously cross my mind. I was like, is this really worth it? Is this really worth being on a platform where people are gonna come at me like this? I thought. Is it worth being on a platform where people hold me accountable for fucking stupid shit I chose to utter out of my mouth and then not change my position on it when everyone told me when I was wrong? Look, I mean, it's based if you want to hold a position that's unpopular, but when you're fucking wrong, you're fucking wrong, and it's not everyone else's fault you're wrong. It's not Destiny's fault you're wrong. I thought about it. I really did, and I almost pulled the plug, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do Discord only. And 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 I decided not to. My community said that they're they're gonna fight for me to be. I'm gonna do Discord only. Discord only. Discord only. What the fuck does that mean, guys? We are deep in the fucking trenches of like unhinged Discord fucking terminally online space. What the fuck is Discord only? She's gonna like do fucking spaces chats on Discord? Is that. What? Go outside! Here, and I'm glad I stayed. But in reality, it's people like Destiny that make it very hard for people who look like me to stay on this platform. Who look like you? What do you look like? A woman? Destiny makes it hard for fucking women to be on platforms like this? What? Okay. And I know dozens of streamers who are no longer a part of this platform because directly his behavior and behavior like his that brought those people away from the- Okay, this is your final trigger warning because I think this is it.
streamers who are no longer a part of this platform because directly his behavior and behavior like his that brought those people away from this platform and now they're not content creators on this platform. Maybe I love it. Twitch. I love the community Maybe that wasn't here. It. I love the community of streamers. But I almost left because this wasn't something that was important for my And it would have been to future. everyone's benefit that's listening to this call if you logged out. This sounds like, all right, have you guys ever watched South Park? I'm going to break my rule, and we're going to Hassan Piker. We're going to watch some TV for a second, okay? Uh, do you want to know what this, you, you want to know what she sounds like? You want to know what fucking uh, Josie sounds like? This is fucking Josie, all right? This is, this is Josie. Is this it? I think this is it. Oh! Police! Yes? Hello, sir. We're conducting an investigation. Uh, regarding... Uh, regarding what? Do you happen to know this child? Oh! Sure, that's one of my son's friends. Well, I'm afraid he's quit Twitter. Oh, <laughs> another one, huh? Yeah, but this one's different. The events surrounding his quitting Twitter were very suspicious. Most people that quit Twitter leave at least three paragraphs stating that they're quitting Twitter before they quit Twitter. This child just stopped using it. One day he was on social media, and the next... Poof. Kyle! Like, it's like comparable to suicide. It's like he's quit Twitter. <laughs> Like there's suspicious like things around him quitting Twitter. Like that's that's what it sounds like. These people have nothing. They have literally nothing. They sit on Discord all day in their fucking deep trench warfare that they have going on to argue with people on Twitter so they can gang up and shit on them. And, and that's literally that's literally what it is. She sounds like this. She sounds like I quit Twitter. Listen to this again. Sure. For people who look like me to stay on this platform. And I know dozens of streamers who are no longer a part of this platform because directly his behavior and behavior like his that brought those people away from this platform. This dumb fuck is like a, a, a mid-tier fucking South Park skit. That's all she is. She's a mid-South Park skit. Boo fucking who? Quit Twitter. Nobody cares. It'll be better for your fucking life if you do. And now they're not content creators on this platform. I love Twitch. I love the community here. I love the community of streamers. But I almost left because this wasn't something that was important for my financial future. Mail Tears, thanks for the prime. <laughs> that's a funny name. And and that's the reality. And I think Twitch is making a decision based on that where they're just like, you know what? We want... We Honestly, if she doesn't want to get bullied, she should replace the crayon flag with an actual store-bought one. No. We want to have more inclusivity on this platform. And if there's one person continually oh, being reported no. over and over and over again by people saying he's transphobic. Dude, reported for being transphobic. Guess then he got banned for leaking a fucking email talking about riots and the BLM protests. Like, where's his fucking transphobia ban? Was there? And if there was, it was one. Like, literally. It's not like he's like, oh, like it's just, well, who's he being reported to? The head of trans Twitter? Is the head of trans Twitter somebody who's like fucking like permanently like... I don't know. I, God, could if we're thinking in the um, this is gonna this is a little close. I can't say this, guys. In your head, picture what the head of trans Twitter is. Just like the president of trans Twitter. I know it's a it's got to be a South Park character that talks like this. So today we're good. Like it's got to be like one of the nerds, right? It has to be a like it would be a nerd on their phone if it was a South Park character. Like they would be uh that that would be how it would be. Like, I, honestly, the president of anybody Twitter would have to, like, they would have to be, like, a fucking, the, the biggest fucking, like, weirdo to ever walk the earth. Um, what are you saying? Are you not believing her and her fellow trans on her Discord and their stuff? No, I'm not. Uh, and actually, I believe that all of this stuff happened. I believe they got backlash, but I believe they're in denial of the source of that backlash. I believe that they believe that they were hate raided by Destiny, and I believe they are wrong. That is my stance. Um, 
and I, and the thing is, it's so fucking obvious what's happening too, because we're watching this in real time. Like this person is giving an incredibly stupid fucking take for the course of two hours, and tonight or tomorrow, you can guarantee it, this person's gonna tweet out that they were hate rated. I mean, it's even in this stream. We're not even there yet, but it's coming, right? So like. And they're going to say they were hate rated and they're going to say it's because of DDG and they're going to say it's because Destiny was watching. And in reality, you can tell them or I can tell them or anyone can tell them that it's their fucking fault. It's not victim blaming. It's the truth. Don't say stupid shit online. You won't be critiqued for it. Or saying he's sexist or saying he's a rape apologist or saying he's platforming pedophiles. Like all of these things are, are, are a part of the entire collage that makes this platform not great for people who look like me. And, and that's why and that's I'd like to is. go back to what Eurydite said. There needs to be concrete proof and we need Twitch to provide said proof that said, this is what broke the camel's back. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm fucking jump on that. Destiny could be a pass away and they'd say his ghost was watching them. Dude, if Destiny fucking died tomorrow, Destiny's fucking dead now in this hypothetical, guys. Destiny's dead, okay? If Destiny's dead and these people get hate rated, I guarantee they turn around and go, it was the toxic community he cultivated that raided us. Even though Destiny's not there in, like, he's there in spirit running these hate raids down on our channels. That's literally the fucking argument. You wanna hear the take of the future if Destiny ever dies in a fucking tragic accident? That's the fucking take. His fucking spirit lingers on to harass trans women on a daily basis that's how fucking unhinged we've gotten needs to be provided not just these theories of oh well the blah, 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 blah. it's like yeah he's done some bad things a lot of people have mentioned that in this panel he's also done a lot of good things and it's like we need to know what the actual reason was in order to condemn that i, action I said that at the forward. beginning i said that at the beginning turf i i do not disagree that Twitch should give a reason why. I am not. I'm not against that. And you know, so so for me, if Twitch wants to make that business decision to get people off to this panel like him, or not panel, but sorry, off this uh, platform uh, like him, then for me, it's a safer space for me now. I'm just gonna and, say until it. the next Destiny or someone like him comes up and does the exact same thing, it's not gonna stop. Sorry to I know it's not going to stop, but it's like, you know, it's like a streamer gate ready to happen. Do you think we could FBB maybe rising. give a, uh, Josie, do you think we could have an example of like maybe what you think the worst thing Destiny's done and maybe just see what the panel thinks about that? Like, just... I think the worst way. thing, well, the, I, I named a couple of things like the thing you... that he kind of like, oh, it's hard to not what? do the the four. You named fucking nothing. 41%. What? Go ahead. IRI. What about all, what about the good things he's done? All right, we're gonna move past the dick sucking segment. I like IRI, but this is like um, why well, the CTV. Here. That's the best thing he's done. He's the Large careers way. of a lot of transform for Vosh. Demon Mama and has okay, their okay, website okay, okay, created okay, for wait, Destiny. Wait, wait, what Josie said because four people were talking at the same time. So we're gonna have Taft repeat what they were gonna say. Uh, they're next on the list anyway, so it's perfect. And then Josie can respond. Taft. The reason I bring this up is because people act like. Destiny has been this like malignant force that has like pushed trans people away. And that's absolutely not the case. Like the reason why we have trans politics and these discussions happening on Twitch and these political spaces where people like Vosh and Demon Mama and all these other people are in it and engaging with it is because Destiny created that platform. All right, and I think still it's, in the gulping you know, territory. I agree, Tom. Like but... to be able to. Sure, I'm sure you'd agree that like, uh, doing good things doesn't like exempt you forever so like what right. like Look, still in the golfing territory. destiny is actually this josie what about the fact that destiny got hundreds of people to come out to canvas in nope we're that still in the you, golfing territory like destiny got some people to go knock on georgia that's great that's great but he also he made kids, a candidate he lose drive he also like made he also hours. made a democratic candidate I'm lose serious. as well josie someone needs to tell this to you People like you and what you're fucking explaining right now and the arguments that you're making are the reason that that guy lost. Unhinged fucking morons who take like, I, who, who go out of their way to fuck with Destiny even when he's doing something as simple as canvassing for a local election are the reason that guy's... It's not because Destiny did a bad job. It's not because of anything Destiny did. It's because unhinged schizo fucking people in that community ruined it for him. It ruined it for Mark Gudgel. People like you are the reason that Mark Gudgel lost that election. I don't want to hear anything otherwise. 
Inexcusable. Yeah, I do door knocking. I do door knocking for. I used to do door knocking for a living. IRI. Like, like the idea that you, like, Destiny got some people to go knock on Georgia. That's great. That's great. But he also he made kids, a candidate he got kids lose. To drive he for also like made. He also made a Democratic candidate oh, lose please. as well. He also made a Democratic candidate What's lose as mayor? well because of his. Yeah, some mayor. Do you think that local politics is important? Oh, come on. You're discounting oh, his operation on. where he invested I, tens of thousands of dollars and weekend after weekend and even pay. I mean, he, he, he inspired these you, kids you to come really, out. I, I, that's great. But you know what? Like, and he also lost the campaign. But I'm not going to go. That was people like you. That was unhinged Twitter schizos. Literally unhinged Twitter schizos. Have you heard one of the people who was responsible? Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. Can we play the clip of one of the people? One of the fucking... I don't want to say it. I, is that racist? Is that a racist word or is that a funny word? Um, I'm going to Google it. Hold on. Before I say this, because I think it's a really funny word, but I don't want it to be racist. And I don't know the person's race that I'm saying it about. Um, uh, what does it mean? A strong or stupid person. Stupid, it works. Okay. This fucking, like... This fucking knuckle-dragging dipshit. That's the word I wanted to use. I think I can use that. It, it's not racial. It's not supposed to be It's in Minecraft if it's racial. Uh, hold on. Where is it? Uh, I've heard people use it, so I wanted to say it. Fuck you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find new fucking curses, because all my ones keep getting banned. So we're using that one now. All right. Knuckle-dragging dipshit. We're on it. Hashtag no racial. Um, uh, let's see. Destiny Gudgel. Yeah, you want, I can explain if you want, or you don't have to. No, yeah, yeah, you do it. Yeah, I'm, so I'm it seems like you don't have honestly, any strong, positive feelings. I'm a Hassan fan. I like Hassan Biker. I don't know why you want to talk about <laughs> other Twitch celebs so much. Are you gonna... No, let's talk about, let's, I mean, let's, we'll talk about what you want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why. So oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. I'm All right. We didn't see that, guys. We didn't see that. Guy. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. Play it cool, play it cool. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, wait, I didn't think of that. All right. Go down oh, that road. Because, because look, I, 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 people go out and knock on doors, and do you think that there were millions and millions and millions upon millions of dollars that were flooded in the Georgia for that race? You know ask, just as well as ask, I do. Ask Afro Sabi what she thinks about Destiny's contribution. She won't tell you he just got some kids to knock on doors. Come on now. That's not fair. Uh, but, but, but but the thing is, like, um, I'm trying to get my point. There's, like, a lot of people in here now. Erudite, um, I got so you, go, go ahead, Erudite. I'm going to recollect my thoughts. Could I maybe just ask the panel, who here would have a career if it weren't for Destiny actually boosting and Oh, my God, we're back to the glomping hour. Glom, 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 glom. The amount of debates I've been able to be on. Sure. Yeah, How if many you're... people do we know of also use his website copy that he just freely... Glom, 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 glom. A few larger creators that will debate smaller creators. If you got a fucking problem with him or a problem with his perspective, you send him an email and he says, okay, I'm streaming at this time. K or 2K or 3 here is big. If and look, and I actually got there to make it to make it be where it is. Like you can I didn't say anything near thing, that. But I'm just saying I didn't say you are you are that. putting a lot of weight on that. And look, and I see it that a lot, a lot of, people of weight. Here, it deserves uh, the, a lot of weight. And he, like, so So the fact of the matter is, when we're looking at this platform and we're looking at the things that are happening here, what we, we, we are talking about, oh, he, he contributed to the space and all that type of stuff. Yeah, and he also knew better than anybody what would get him banned off this platform. And, and he's been pushing that line for a long, long, long time. No and, one knows you know, going to get Imagine, you being, imagine being a creator who doesn't try to push the line in order to... If anything, Twitch politics is a stunter. Yeah. Work pull by one group or... I'll have a... But whatever, I'll join in the whole... Yeah, done good things all that. I, I guess you can just... So a, a lower or chance of, or a higher chance of being fucking boring and not attract people in my fucking chat right now that's stuff in other platforms literally cut his teeth get up the platform position down saying that russia's justified to take crimea the big iri brought up he was incredibly dismissive right he actually the issue is that everything that he's done wrong that you've like pointed to josie i feel like you've been really really 
not characterizing. You can characterize she's it in probably so the big. worst possible. This is the, she's the only one on the, or they're the only one on the platform that's fucking. Literally fucking earlier said I'm losing with estrogen. El Dinosaur. There's nothing that makes me more uh, amazes me more than Destiny Extremists. Both big fans and big detractors are cringe, but the mental gymnastics still go to validate their position is amazing. True. Thank you for the uh, tier one. Light. I would say some of them are bad. Yeah. Paradise is but like on point. When we look at the good things like he's done, like IRI brought up, he was incredibly dismissive, right? He actually boosted you as well. He gave you a free interview. He helped you when you were also doing like political stuff. And I'm not saying like now that I don't hear me. I'm not saying, well, you should just be grateful. I'm not saying that you can be boosted by somebody and then later decide that you fucking hate them. That's fair enough. But the issue is that the characterization and the narrative you're using The one example I said, can you give me an example of a greeting? And the example you said is I went into a chat, said some things. I imagine that you pissed people off. I'm guessing. Right. And then a bunch of people For jumped what? into your chat and talk to you. Do you have any evidence of Destiny saying, go, go, guys, get into a chat, go and brigade her? Oh, this is beautiful. Right? Do you have any evidence of Destiny coordinating this? this? Is you so just have it where you instigated a bunch game. of people gonna, in this chat, uh, and then they jumped into yours, and did you bring those transphobic game. people to him so that he could ban okay. him? Because he's okay, very so what about what about that. What about the two dozen people that I've had the ban in my chat over the course of this entire debate? What about- Okay. The hate raiders are in the room with us right now. Josie is saying that during this fucking performance, the fact that she's getting people disagreeing with her in her chat that are coming from other places means she's been hate raided. Two dozen people, 24 people have allegedly been banned from Josie's chat during the course of this fucking live stream, and she thinks that's a hate raid. No, you're just doing a shit fucking job and people are coming to tell you about it. Like, it takes two seconds to ban somebody. That's not a fucking hate raid. When people are talking about hate raids, they're talking about banning thousands of fucking accounts that are being sent by fucking bots, or they're, th like, talking about, like, fucking cozy TV people sending 200 people into your chat. That's what a fucking hate raid is. You being wrong on a fucking public fucking stream, and then getting a bunch of people in your mentions saying that you're wrong in a public fucking stream is just you being wrong in a public fucking stream. It's so embarrassing that you're trying to pass this off. Like, I'm literally embarrassed. What about them? What about those DJs? Why do they have to do with they say, anything? That's, what, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, like you, you, wait, you're just wait, like, oh, you... yeah, I'm just gonna dismiss I'm just gonna dismiss, like, all By of... By the way, I jumped in her fucking chat and it was on follow mode for 30 minutes. Maybe turn it to sub only if you're getting like I mean there's so many fucking tools that you can use. Just put it on sub only your emote for a minute while you're getting shit on. Like I mean I'm not saying that it's a hate raid and I'm not even I'm not I'm not seeding any ground here, but if you're mad that people are being dicks to you in chat, ban them fucking make it sub only, make it fucking verified phone numbers, ban the people who are coming in on their uh, alt accounts because there's a feature for that. Dude, Twitch has so many fucking features now that far surpass even YouTube, something I shill consistently. They have such a good banning system, it's so awesome here. Like, you can literally turn it on verified phone number accounts and that'll stop your hate raid problem, probably. Um, did you read the... Wait, are you telling me that's true? I didn't watch Destiny's stream. Are you saying she's only banned four people ever? I don't fucking believe that. I can't imagine she's fucking li literally lying to everybody on the panel. That would be insane. ...of these things and all these claims, and the second I say, hey, I, I, my, my, my community's already had to ban two dozen people here in this chat two with somebody dozen? literally saying, welcome from the DDG community, and then immediately going at me. Like, Josie. you realize that this is, the, like, this evidence of, like, the Destiny go and tell me to do that? No, but I'm saying his name negatively, and now I'm getting brigaded. And it's your fucking fault. I'm sorry. Like, this might be fucking nuclear. That's what happens. It's part of the online experience. Like, if you say something negative and people disagree with you, they're gonna tell you. It's your fucking fault. For it. Like, like, it's very That's not common a brigade, just though. To be able to... That's yeah. not a... If I call out Hassan Piker and I get a hundred people who write me saying how good Hassan is, it's my fucking fault. Okay, if I can't take that, and I, sh I shouldn't have done it, okay? Obviously, that's how the fucking internet works. These are people with opinions. These aren't people that are fucking, like, held on string or something like that. Or, like, fucking soldiers that are sent out to do war. If they were, that would be a hate raid. Jesus fucking Christ. These are independent thinking people. Brigade. This is people disagreeing oh, with you. Wait, it's wait. not. One, one at a time. Josie, Josie, right. you know how many people I have given my chat when I go on Hippy Dippy and then disagree with me and they came from another viewer's chat and I've had to ban them or they just leave because I'm not addressing their comments? 
I feel like that's just a part of debate to where it's when you're in a debate, people from other communities' chats are going to pop in yours to tell you exactly what they're thinking because they think you're they think they're important and they think you're gonna care when they type in your chat telling you how shit you are and how much shit your opinion is. And it just doesn't happen. There's no there's a guy Wyatt. I don't know who the fuck he came from, but he came into my chat, tell me how shit my opinion was. I said, hey, I'll talk Thank to you. After, you. I'll talk to you on Discord after. How many times have and you been like, hate rated? Nah, leave. How many, how many times, times have you been hate rated? Because the trans community, we get hate rated a lot. You hear that? We get hate rated a lot. I guarantee fucking t. How many fucking followers? This person has like 5k on Twitter or something. I guarantee your fucking irrelevant ass has gotten fucking hate rated less than me. I guarantee fucking t it. Please, please prove you've been hate rated more than I have. Please, then you then you have my fucking sympathy. So, 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 so what you're saying? No, I'm you're just saying. saying. I'm just so saying that saying being a trans rate. woman on this platform, you get hate rated quite often. I'm so just saying, like you're destiny. talking about a couple hey, wait, people. Wait, 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 one I'm time. not saying anything about destiny. I said hate rated. Period. You're so not don't even go there and destiny? act all freaking shocked about it what do you think this conversation's about it's not just about maybe random. The, the fact that i don't know that i'm getting hate rated right now you're not getting hate rated. Now hey hey guess what you're not getting hate rated hey guess what josie i've never seen an example of you getting hate rated hey guess what josie i've never seen an example of destiny hate rating you josie hey josie did you know you're not being hate rated right now can somebody tell josie that she's literally not being hate rated holy shit like i i just feel like someone needs to define this term there's still no definition we're over two hours in nobody even knows what a fucking hate rate is um yeah. my moderators are now sitting there doing more because i sit there and i talked about being hate rated like do you You're understand that it's literally happening in my community go I've in my chat real go fucking in my dumb chat shit right before. now and, okay can I've i be clear Josie, if anyone in my chat goes to yours and does things like that please screenshot their name so i can ban them immediately yes yeah, i genuinely it. want you to do so that just, 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 just screenshot all of the people that i just banded and send them ideally to you, sure. yeah Why i'd not? like to make but, sure uh, that because that seems like a really hey Hey, Josie, when you get to be a big... I don't even know if this person's a big streamer. Hold on, let me go to their fucking account before I start talking size matters. Okay, this is a person with half my fucking following and no check mark. Alright, you're not getting that many fucking hate raiders. I refuse to fucking believe it. You have 1.5k on Twitch. What do you average? Fucking 20 viewers? Shut the fuck up. Like, holy shit. Jesus. It's an 80 viewer streamer? I don't think... Oh, maybe... 80 viewers of that subs is fine, I guess. Whatever. You're doing alright. The, their their channel's fine then. I don't know. Uh, check their social blade. I don't know. The yeah. reasonable thing for every. Well, you don't have to, but that, what else can we as content creators do to try to protect things like this? And this is the issue: is Destiny has done actively this. I would say Destiny has gone above and beyond for tone policing and controlling his community as much as possible. There's, but there are limits to it, and a lot of the limits that we have is that we have to be reactive in how. We this has been something that my community has been dealing with since they've been on the platform. Trigger warning. Okay, like, do you Trigger realize warning. that it's been something that I in my community have dealt with? This is the first time that I've actually openly talked about Destiny since eight months ago. And if you were to look at my chat and before all the banning started happening, you would understand why my community doesn't. The fact that you feel so fucking brave to come out and talk now, now that he's deplatformed, is so embarrassing. I, I would never, I would never turn around and fucking admit that to anybody. That would be like the most pathetic thing I could possibly say. Holy shit. I can't believe you actually just fucking admitted that, but whatever. Um, you do you. Here we go. Here we go. And do that because of the fact of the matter is I have my community that sees it all the time and it adds to their mental health issues. And I, you know, I, I don't usually share this trigger warning for self-harm. I have trigger warning for fucking harming this one hold on just i i'm gonna fucking say it i know nobody's gonna say it i'm probably gonna get in trouble for this but here matter is i have my community that sees it all the time and it adds to their mental health issues and i you know i, I don't usually share this trigger warning for self-harm i had a community member take their own life about last year when they were in their middle of their transition because their family rejected them OK, I have no idea if it was because of something that happened on my platform, but you're a piece of shit. You're a fucking asshole. You're using a dead fucking trans person 
you're trauma dumping a dead fucking trans person in on this conversation going, I don't know if it had anything to do with my platform or the hate raids. You're a piece of shit. You're an awful person. Every, everyone should ostracize you. That is the craziest. Fu- Destiny has literally fucking murdered people now. That is the most insane thing. I- this is like Onision levels of derangement. Jesus fucking Christ. Just listen. A- and nobody knows how to react. They don't know what to say. Here, when they were in their middle of their transition because their family rejected them. Okay? I have no idea if it was because of something that happened on my platform. But That bait worked better when fucking... Who's the comedian? When Dave Chappelle tried it, okay? It's not working here. You just sound like an asshole. I know that that Absolute actually happened. piece of garbage. And it has been one of the most difficult things that I've had to deal with. Trauma dump alert. Big trauma getting dumped right into the middle of the fucking debate. Big dumpy trauma coming through. Jesus. Ethan Klein tactics activated. Here comes the suicide defense. Know it. So when I talk about these issues, they're very real. Because that- no, they're fucking not. They're all in your fucking head. All these issues that you're talking about are in your fucking head. That's a really sad thing that happened to somebody, and I never wish that on a single fucking trans person. But to act like that's fucking even remotely relevant to Destiny not hate rating you is delusional. You should go touch grass. You shouldn't go retreat to Discord. You should get off of Discord and get a fucking life, because clearly you don't have one. So please, Jesus, get offline. Holy shit. I don't know anything about people, like, running trans people offline or something like that, but, like, someone should give you good human advice that you need to log the fuck off. Because if you're sitting here thinking about fucking suicide when you read Destiny's tweets, and you're sitting here thinking you're feeling something when the fucking Harry Potter writer fucking says, like, uh, I don't know, makes another conversation about Dumbledore's penis, like, obviously you're too fucking deranged to interact online. It's delusional. I deal with this all the time. Like it's, 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 it's my life. Like I do research on this shit. Like I do research on the stand down soldier. Shouldn't be your life. Do something else. Get back into, get back into the, uh, get back on that horse. The fact that people are more susceptible to ideation because of the fact that the society that they live in don't society has abandoned them. <laughs> don't respect them. <laughs> and more content creators over time are continuing to dogpile on us. And it's to get back on the horse. Isn't that the phrase? It's creating more of an issue. There's a reason why Destiny got uh, banned and Twitter is Twitch is probably figuring out what it is. <laughs> There's a reason why Destiny got banned and Twitch is figuring it out. They don't know yet. <laughs> Twitch pulled the plug off. Dude, Twitch turned out, like, pulled the Vosh tweet out and goes, we need to shut down this Destiny thing until we figure out what's wrong with it. What a fucking take, yo. This is so stupid. Uh, is Connor here? Somebody said, uh, okay, Connor. Is Connor in the chat? Hi, Connor. Oh, God, that's fucking brutal. But I'm just saying right now. Wait, it's half touch right now. And it's creating more of an issue. <laughs> There's a reason. Why- Look at her fucking face. She's like, what the hell is going on? My destiny got uh, banned and Twitter is Twitch is probably figuring out what it is. But I'm just saying right now that it is a real significant issue. This isn't me having destiny derangement syndrome. The conversation. No, Josie, this is far worse than destiny derangement syndrome. This is like Daliban fucking. I, I, this is. Uh... Destiny Attic Cancer. That's what this is. This is Destiny Chemia, dude. I'm trying I'm, something. This is Daliban Chemia. ...is about Destiny getting banned in the context of all of the little chips that have stacked up the entire time. This is AIDS, dude. Autoimmune de- Destiny Syndrome. <laughs> Time for that tower to finally fall over and now he's banned indefinitely. That's what this panel is about. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> is that type of behavior and what he's done to these communities and what he does to the trans community what all he does the to time. the trans community. Whenever she says the trans community, I just picture a bunch of Twitter avatars folding their arms, just in anger, just looking down, being like, the trans community has spoken. Your Visa card and MasterCard are being revoked. I said this earlier, and I know this is gonna this is like fucking controversial, but for people who are 
like treated as almost second class citizens in all of society, which again is fucking terrible. And I disagree with that. And I think that's why, tr- like, even after all of this drama, I still think it's worth supporting trans rights. I mean, ob- obviously. Um, but for some reason on Twitter, they're like the apex predators of getting you banned. Like, they're like the top of the food chain. Like, in reality, like, I don't know, dude. It's, 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 it's insane. I, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, they have all the corporate backing and everything. On Twitter, these people are fucking like the boss, the final boss. They're like an Eden, what, what, Elden Ring boss. Um, we're not Daliban anymore. We left the battalion. They're Del Qaeda now. Um, yeah, I hope I said that in a way that doesn't sound absolutely brutal, but just fuck, it's crazy. ...is the reason why this community is hurt, because of people like him. I also want to say, like, Destiny's community has, like, roasted me for things that I've said, because I've said some fucking stupid things, right? And sometimes it's just, like, you mean to say one thing, and it comes out not the way that you're trying to say it, right? And... Like, that sucks, right? It feels really bad to have people roasting you and, like, adding you and saying, like, that you're stupid. But it's, like, insane that this has to be fucking explained. Like, imagine trying to exist on a fucking social media site and, like, this has to be fucking explained to you. Holy shit. It's delusional. I think that when you're online, like, you can't count that all as transphobia. Because that's the nature of a lot of online discussion is you get roasted and people call you dumb when you say dumb things. And so I think it's sometimes frustrating when we conflate all of this with transphobia. And in a sense, I feel like it's a disservice to like the actual transphobia that people do experience to just call it all transphobia. Thank you. Sprout saw me confused. I was trying to figure out which one uh, left. Of course, it was counterpoints. Okay, is there anybody else who want to say anything else before we wrapped up? You say edge policing is tardo, but listen, if I didn't have to edge police, I wouldn't. I wish my chat would just not be stupid and adhere to TOS, but unfortunately, I'm the only one with my best interest at heart. If I want people to come in my community and they jump on my stream and all they see in my chat is 41% jokes and there's a world where I wouldn't get banned for that... Uh, I would just look like a total colossal douchebag for not moderating it. And I don't want to invite that. Like, yeah, that's good if you're living in the everything fucking hands-off commentary community. But if you're trying to engage with these different people and stuff like that from these new communities and stuff, and they look at your account and it's just like 41%, 41%, 41%, like nobody's going to want to fucking interact with you. So, I mean, I would just like people to be normal and not make jokes like that. But unfortunately, sometimes they have to be censored, at least on my channel. Um... Wonderful. Then we're going to do closing statements. Try to give them. Yeah, closing statements. Super short. So we're going to start with IRI. Okay, look. The last. Okay. I know Josie's been uh, beat up on tonight. I want to say that streaming for me is easy compared to Josie. I I admit that the trans people on this platform have a rough time. It's not easy. It's like streaming on expert mode with one hand tied behind your back. And so I feel for you, Josie. And I would love to help clean this face up. But I think when we lose a big ally, and I know you don't see it that way, but I see Destiny as an ally. Nobody's perfect. I say dumb things, you know, I, just not as many people see it. But I think that the road to achieving things... This was a fucking very risky stream for me tonight. I'm sure... I'm, I'm pro- I've am I'm probably misspoken on here at some point. The way, like, I'm just thinking because of the way he's talking. And I probably said something I didn't mean, or I've probably gone too far in some parts. But, like, um, I don't really care. Um, I don't know. This is, like, the first kind of... I guess, like, it's it's still YouTube drama, but it's a little political. The first time I've ever leaned in on something like this, because I've had to talk about identity politics in the stream. Involves getting imperfect people involved. And I won't make a habit of this. I know people come here just for drama, and I, I think everybody who's here just for drama understands why we're talking about this, because it's, it's like crazy, but um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going politotard mode. Don't worry, guys. And so, I don't even know what kind of hate he gets that we don't even hear about. Yes, you can show a couple of examples that he pushed things too far, but maybe that day he got like five death threats. Maybe somebody told him for the fourth thousandth time that his son should, you know, get hit by a car or something. You know, I don't know what this guy deals with. I know I get my, I get some random DMs, I get some random hate, but it's 1% of what he gets. 
So I, is he going to lash out once in a while? We all do. But I think the net good of Destiny far outweighs the negative. And that, that I, I can't convince you of that. All I can do is share that. But I think getting a bunch of young people to drive halfway across the country and dedicate weekends of their lives and money. Dude, IRI's got such a good speaking voice, but who does he sound like? Like, if you close your eyes and you hear his voice. That, that, I, I can't convince you of that. All I can do is share that. But I think getting a bunch of young people to drive halfway across the... It's one of those, like, is it Matt Pat? Who's the one who's like, it's just a theory, a game theory. Like, listen to his voice. Get some random DMs. I get some random hate, but it's one percent of what he gets. So, I is he gonna lash out once in a while? We all do. But I think the net good of Destiny far outweighs the negative. And that dude, he sounds just like the guy. He sounds just like Matt Pat. I literally hear Matt Pat. Like if I close my fucking eyes and I listen to this, it sounds like the beginning of a game theory video. That his son should, you know, get hit by a car or something. You know, I don't actually. I don't think Matt Pat would say that, but he does sound like Matt Pat. I don't know what this guy deals with. I know I get my, I get some random DMs. I get some random hate, but it's one percent of what he gets. So I, is he gonna lash out once in a while? We all do. But I think the net good of Destiny far outweighs. The negative and that that I, I can't convince you of that all I can do is share that but I think getting a bunch of young people to drive halfway across the country and dedicate weekends of their lives and money and time to knock on doors in Georgia and help I'm not saying that he got Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff the victory but to help to arrange the largest canvassing operation in on certain weekends there I think that's huge. Some of these kids will stay involved in politics for the rest of their lives because of what Destiny did and what he continues. Oh, no. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. you. You guys all know I'm a big Destiny fan, right? But Destiny also produced Demon Mama, Vosh, Hassan Piker, and Xander Hall, some of which I'm cool with. I won't tell you which ones. Um, okay. So there are definitely some negatives to put for Destiny being on Twitch. Uh, I'm not going to lie. There are definitely some negatives. <laughs> to do. So I'm sorry, but I just see Destiny as such a net positive uh, that, that I, I'm blown away that people are so angry at him because of some extra moderation they have to do for their channel. I'm sorry. But um, I think we all lose now that Destiny's gone. I think the whole space is going to hurt, and people don't even know it. They're, they, they're, they'll see, I guess, and, you know, let's see where we're at in a year. Okay, next we're going to throw it to Loner. Um, oh, yeah. Fuck, what was I saying? Um, yeah, Taft, I, I think you were mentioning me. Were you, I think you were referring to my comment when you mentioned the transphobia thing. It's not just about trans... Nick is not cool with Demon Mama. Don't you even fucking lie about that in chat. Holy shit, dude. Do not, do not fucking put my name in the same sentence as fucking bathtub meth lady. I, I don't even want to fucking hear it. No, I'm literally stopping that shit right now. I saw one fucking mention of it in chat. I literally should permaban you for having the audacity to think that was true. All right, we're moving along. It's phobia, okay? Like, it's just, it's like about things like mental health and all that. Like, so like, say Destiny will like acknowledge that some smaller person who he thinks is suffering. Imagine I was cool with Hassan and I dropped the video. It was positive. Everyone would hate me. I would be ostracized from society. Is that the right word? I don't know. From like mental health issues, and he also he'll, he'll do the thing where he says this person's mental health is not being helped by their engagement on this platform, and then he will go public and. Wait, me bathtub meth lady is their new lore. I'm sorry, guys. I've been gone for a while. If you haven't been getting your politics ch stuff from Twitch, um, Demon Mama took the position that they're like that supply chains are inherently evil and exploitative. So um, we should contact our favorite chemistry friends and have them make our medicine for us and that would be like more ideal in a in a perfect society so we should basically have like fucking breaking bad meth labs for insulin in our bathtub so that's the take um i hope you guys enjoyed it uh that's the newest demon mama take of the year so we're, we're there okay talk to his like much bigger audience about like specifically about their mental health so like i feel like no one's really engaged with that question i was just like I know you can say the net good and everything, okay, I agree, but I, th I don't know why it's kind of difficult for people to, like, acknowledge there are, like, lots of places where a bit of, like, restraint would have been not only, like, better, but also just, like, very easy, like, does anyone not think that, or? You, nobody can respond, it's the Andy statement. Oh. Okay. Wonderful. Now I'm going to throw it over to Not So Erudite. 
Yeah, I uh, I would echo a bit of what IRI said. Again, sorry to steal my opening and closing from you now at this point, but um, a weed sandwich based. I think it is beyond clear to me, um, based on what I've been seeing with the "Don't Say Gay" bill and just a lot of reactionary policy that we're seeing in America. That absolutely. Um, there is a lot of work to be done when it comes to trad's advocacy. And I don't know anything about the Don't Say Gay bill. I've So basically, everyone so has a different ball. take. I have a bachelor's in chemistry. Get me in touch with her so I can cook up some bathtub insulin for her. I have to see who... I'm sorry. I have to go on Streamlabs after this and find out who donated. Thank you. Um, fucking... So... I don't understand the don't. This is a very small fucking jump because I really am out of. I'm way out of my league here. Um, so from the conservatives that I see talk about it, they say it has nothing to do with actual gay people and it exists to keep like sexual. Um, what is it like gender talk and sexuality talk outside of like pre K to third grade classrooms, and. Um, all the lefties I see are saying it's, like, the most outrageous fucking bill ever. The conservatives are totally lying. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not fucking reading it. So I don't know, like, what the truth is on that one. I probably need to do some research. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? When Demon Mama called you a whittle big boy, I felt that. The base, the most base thing Demon Mama ever did was call me a, I think she called me a cunt. I thought that was pretty funny. I don't know. I thought it was cool. I felt one with the community when I was in a panel with Demon Mama. Um, basically, Texas doesn't want you. Okay, hold on. I don't think you're. I think you're wrong. Isn't "Don't Say Gay" a Florida thing? If if it's not a Florida thing, I'm gonna stop talking because at that point, I've totally overstayed my welcome in politics for the night. Being not being a child is based. Yeah, children are terrible, dude. They, if we could get rid of children and just be adults. Like, it would probably put a number on someone's vagina to, like, birth out a, an entire human. But, like, children are awful, bro. Imagine we could come out of, like, the womb and just be a fully fucking functioning male. Um, and then, like, never have sex again. Because if you did that, like, I mean, you're... I don't know if you... They stretch, but not that far. Um, kindergarten gay bill, so it's funny to talk about it. Um, I don't know. It's Florida? Okay. Ban all children. True. You know, honestly, I think we should stop worrying about, like, um, gender conversations in, in schools, and I think we should focus on just banning children. I think that we're, we're angling this bill the wrong way. If we ban all the children, then we have nothing to teach them in schools. There we go, guys. We figured it out. And actually making space and just, like, basic human rights for trans people. I think that is unquestionable to me. The problem is that when we um, cannibalize our own. Um, we actually lose some of the best people who are doing good work for it. Now, no, no advocate is perfect. I think even if we looked at any of our own personal histories, there's probably shit that you can come up. Issue for destiny is he's an edge lord and has been doing it for 13 years. So you're gonna find the one thing I got from Hassan that I totally fucking agree with is that the default state of man and woman is transphobia, and I mean that in such a way that like the first time you hear trans like trans stuff, you don't understand it. So like everyone had their transphobia arc. Some people just won't fucking admit it. Whether it be people like who went on 4chan who were like afraid to come out, uh, and then found out that trans stuff is like normal, or like um. I don't know, just people who didn't understand it in high school and didn't under, like didn't think they existed. Like there are so many people who like I mean, it's just for a majority of like people who were born in the '90s, '80s, and before that, like you weren't. I I I didn't meet a trans person until college. I keep telling everybody this. Like the first trans person I ever met was freshman year on the first day of school in a uh, college. So like of course I had like transphobic views. I didn't understand what the fuck I was like seeing. Um, that was like a good Hassan take. Um, mm -hmm. A lot more of it. Um, this doesn't excuse all of the behaviors, but fundamentally what we need to do is figure out what our priorities are, what are the most important things to advocate for, and work really hard to make those spaces. I'm really disappointed with how the trans community, not the trans community at large, I would say like more like Josie's community and whatnot, have been characterizing Destiny. 
I think that there's a lot of... Um, that was a good differentiation. Not the trans community, Josie's community. Because tr Josie isn't the fucking Lorax, and she doesn't speak for Twitch, she doesn't speak for the community, she doesn't speak for the chatters, and she doesn't speak for the fucking trans people in the entire world, okay? Josie speaks for Josie, and maybe some people around Josie who are too fucking uh, terrified, fucking struck with fear to open their mouth at, at mighty destiny, okay? Who, by the way, I just want to reiterate, they're talking about all these safe spaces. If you're just joining and you weren't watch and you were watching the Augie 300 episode, I want you to know that people like fucking Vivian were going around in this fucking thing bragging about, oh, it's finally here. Destiny's finally banned. If you guys are so fucking scared of platforming fucking Nazis, Destiny had 11,000 people watching concurrent. His platform's not gone. You just pushed him somewhere else. And guess what? The guy's considering making a cozy account. That's the worst thing that could happen because A, if Destiny starts debating people on Cozy, suddenly those debates go viral, and then all of a sudden you got Chud Logic doing it, you got all these fucking debate bros on Twitch doing it, and everybody's gonna be talking about, um, everybody's gonna be talking to all these new Cozy guys, all these fucking Nazis you're so afraid of on Cozy, okay? So immediately there's gonna be more right wingers involved in the community, alright? That's point number one. Point number two is now, now when Destiny says something quote unquote transphobic that you hate and you don't want to be around, there's fucking nothing you can do about it. Absolutely denada. There's, no, there's, there's nothing going on. Good night. Not happening. Uh, and, and that's because what are you going to do? You're going to at Twitch support and beg for them to ban his account again? He could go on Cozy TV right now and do the 24-7 Josie hour and react to your streams every fucking day for an entire week and you couldn't do jack fucking shit about it. Nothing. You think this is better? You think that you're in a good position right now? Because you're not. You're not in a good position right now. He could go on YouTube and react to you all the same. And there's, there's literally fucking nothing you can do about it. So. Um, good luck. I guess. I uh, bad faith. I wouldn't say bad faith, just like not super charitable interpretations. Um, probably the worst possible interpretations of certain things and dismissive of, of good, which makes me sad. Um, because I think that we should do our best to hold the same ruler to every type of community content creator. And I don't often see certain uh, content creators getting the same ruler held to them that we're willing to hold to somebody like Destiny. And um, yeah, you I would pushed, just like to see that more. You pushed your, one of your biggest trans allies potentially to nick fucking fuentes's platform you stupid asses um so i know it got heated um i appreciate um the conversation and to allow no, me to say my piece um i am not the only person on this platform that has um grievances with ddg i just want to make that clear i am one of many um i just had the honor to be able to speak for and with that community um, the best I could. And I know that I wasn't perfect. I know that I did. No, you were bad. You weren't not perfect. You weren't like, oh, you could have done better. You were bad. This was terrible. This was like one of the worst performances I've ever seen. Didn't have all of the arguments lined up because it was only me and I tried my best, so. It wasn't you, it was you and the entire trans community that you were grandstanding with the entire debate. They were basically strapped at your hip. You could have like pulled them out of your pocket at any time. Like, oh, here's the trans community. I just want everybody to know that this is not a accurate reflection of um, what the internet of Twitch um, looks like or the, the statement of Twitch. There's a lot of people who do not like um, the actions yeah keep on fucking coping that destiny has done um i do want to address a few other little pieces um which is iri i just want to just push back on one thing you specifically Ooh. said is that extra moderation big deal well when you're a small content creator and you only have like 10 viewers and you don't have the ability to have several moderators like I do, where I have like three or four moderators going, doing their thing right now, then it's nearly impossible to overcome hate raids. And I've seen people shut down their streams because they just could not take and stop what was happening. In fact, Twitch has even put a massive um, stance on, on hate raids, particularly for that reason, because it doesn't affect streamers like myself 
as much and you know i'm a relatively small streamer i'm not huge um when i get a stream like i have the ability to bat it off but a lot of small streamers don't get that opportunity so so that's one yeah they fucking do everyone grandstands hate raids way too much i fucking walk back on it and now i'm going all the way i'm i 180'd on hate raids and i'm 180ing back i was right to begin with this fucking website has so many moderation tools if you put it in sub only mode your hate raid ends it's fucking crazy it's like a one button solution put it on sub only for five minutes and then turn it off like is it overwhelming to click two fucking buttons reason why extra moderation not being a big deal is just woefully uh, misguided um now i want to i want to say that there was a lot of comments talking about this being a discussion of like oh this is freedom of speech this is the conversation that we are trying to have and this type of thing is it's like we are talking about things that were directly targeted toward individuals that we're that are directly harmed with their own platforms being deplatformed, having twitch accounts go private having twitch accounts be banned this is something that is more than just a shitty take there is there is a lot of things and there's a lot of evidence to show this and a lot of that evidence gets destroyed because people delete their accounts and just get off the internet and try to stay away from it altogether do you guys have like archives? Like, did the trans community not find Wayback Machine yet? You should probably tell them since you're like the fucking Lorax and you speak for the whole community. And 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 Taft, I just have to say, I, and I'm not trying to make a personal attack here, but out of all the things that Destiny has done, you picked out a Game of Thrones spoiler. Like, like there is so many things that Destiny has done, and everybody on this panel has even said destiny's done some pretty fucked up shit but you choose a game of thrones uh, spoiler as to be fair, he oh was he DMing gets angry I, uh, but 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 the thing is like it just shows the level of of um in ability to to be able to see this from the point of view wholly because a lot of these people on this panel did raise their hand when they say oh i'm directly affected by this by destiny in a positive way therefore it's like the idea and i'm just gonna say it there was a lot of simping on this panel where it's like <laughs> oh but it's destiny though he made my career great though instead of actually engaging the conversations of the fact of real material harm of people on this platform including the people that have particularly the people who have been deplatformed because they can't take any more of the rage that comes their way continuously so this will be the final thing i say on this point i know i'm outnumbered but Twitch gets the final word. Twitch banned oh, Destiny cult. indefinitely. So where the real W is, was with me. And at the end of the day, everybody can cry and get upset and mad about Destiny being banned. But the ultimate result is that he is no longer on this panel. And I have Twitch to support me on that. And all the other community uh, that has been affected by his <laughs> actions. So the big do yeah, Dylan sent Josie out to die. That's really what happened. Josie, Josie was like out here to be the one that got fucking destroyed. If I was fucking Josie, I would be so mad at Dylan. But I thought Dylan did a really base thing tonight. W goes to me and our community because the Twitch said, "Destiny, you're no longer a part of this platform." So. I see a lot of people taking a lot of L's because of the fact is Twitch got the final word and he's gone and we'll find out why. Okay, that is the end of the first Jesus. topic of time.